Hello. Good morning. How are you? <coughs> I almost sang that. But I didn't. It's auction day. And I, as always, am your ever crazy host, Hip Flip and Mama. Hi, Denise. How are you? Denise, I will pull from my personal jewelry that I wear on the consistent. Hi, Cheryl. Look at that. Look at the lid. Okay. Look at the lid. It doesn't even sit flush anymore. You guys have bought me too much damn jewelry. And I pull out of here, Denise, for you because hi, Michelle. My personal, personal because you requested it. Hi, Joanne. Because since I've lost 25 pounds, which Hi, Lucia. I, I, I might have probably gained three pounds this morning because I ate a little bag of licorice. I did, and it was good, you guys. So, Michelle, or uh, Denise. Hi, Sharon. Oh, it's so good to see you, too. So, Denise, you requested an 18-inch strand of pearls. Denise, I hope Sharon comes in because, oh, yeah, Sharon, there you are. I have two rings to show you, and I'm going to give you a first crack, buy it now, opportunity on these rings. I haven't even tested them yet, so no, I won't. We'll do it in private because I haven't tested them yet. But I got two rings in. She knows what I'm, ta I'm talking about. Look at this pill. I have this pill sitting on my desk. Just a plain, plain old pill. So now that my neck's not so fat. Or as fat. I guess maybe you can tell in my face. <clears throat> 18 inch strain of pearls. <clears throat> that I had in my personal collection because I was going to keep them. Look out! Look how good my bra matches my shirt. And Denise asked me for last night a strand of pearls, eighteen inches. So what do you think I'm going to do? Yep. I've been wearing these bad boys, too. And they look beautiful. Don't they look beautiful? This is a supplement pill. So, I will be, this is the first thing I'm going to auction off today. Well, shit the bed. The reason they fit me so good is because they're a 20. Here, I thought my neck was not so fat. They're 19 and, 19 and a half. Will that work or no? Those are too big. Denise, is 19 and a half too big? Here, I thought it, I was rocking 18 inches. I can, though. Because th this is 18 inches. This is 18 inches. I love this pendant. I've worn this so many times with these with these stones on it. But I think I'm going to, next time I wear it, I'm going to just rock it with a chain. Thank you so much, Kathy, for that. Denise, that's up to you, baby. I, you know, I've got other... I've got other, are you looking for white? 
or or peacock pearls okay this has got a resin pendant on it though um oh you know i've got this one it's got beads in it though it's it's pearl but it's got glass look at that I think they're EB, Aurora Borealis. Now, this is for sure 18, 16 or 18. If she's petite, you might want to get her a 16 inch. Ow. Oh, my foot is messed up. Are these real? I think these are real. I know these are real. Yeah. Those are real. And these are vintage. Boy, I'm going to put those up today. I forgot I had those. Oh, I got all these pearls, too. I haven't been doing pearls because pearls have not been popular, but more and more people have been asking for pearls lately. Yeah. Hi, Verna. Verna, my lovely, Verna, my lovely. Verna, my lovely. Oh, Tammy, I'm sorry, sweetness. These are real. And they've got little jade beads. Although they could be quartz. I'm going to test them. But I've got these. Why haven't I been wearing these? I love Baroque pearls. I could have been wearing these. And then I've got, maybe I'll, I have got this rockin'. Um, it's pearl and lapis. And I, I found this hanging up on my pegboard the other day. And I'm like, how come I haven't been wearing this? I mean, look at that. Girl. And then I've got this wrap ring that's pearl and amethyst. And I'm like, why haven't I been rocking this? Oh, it's it's too bulky on my finger. That's why. I'm sorry you're feeling bad, Tammy. You poor thing. I remember I just laid in bed for a day after I had my first and my second shot. Because it just it made me tired tomorrow's mother's day thank you so much for this you guys thank you thank you i appreciate you i've worn this twice this week well i wore it last saturday and then i slept in it so then i wore it sunday and then i have this awesome Mother of Pearl wrap bracelet that I got from Jennifer. I got that from Jennifer's auction. Triple J. And, of course, we got to put this on that Maury bought me. And I've worn this, I don't know how many times. I'm going to have to, like, seriously think about bringing a jewelry box. I can't bring my, my big jewelry box in here because I don't have anywhere to put it. But... My jewelry, I can 
I can sell this ring because I don't I don't wear it. And I bought it, so it's okay. So Denise. I have got you guys, I was down for the count for two days today. It does, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Really, the only jewelry I can wear during an auction is is bracelets. I can't do I can't do guys, this is all getting cut. You could tell I haven't taken my Adderall yet. This is all getting cut tomorrow. Eleven o'clock. I'm gonna shave the sides so my sides will be like this. And then this will be like an inch. An inch on top. I'm getting it cut super short. It's not shorter than what you've seen, so don't freak out. Oh, thank you, honey. Denise, I have this. This is very, very vintage. Look at this, you guys. This is brand new. I've worn this like twice, and then it's been hanging on my pegboard for a year. But it's aged hanging on my pegboard. And it is, I can't remember the designer. I got this from Cindy, or no, Vicky. Vicky or Cindy? And it's got pancake pearls. Little pancake pearls and then resin beads and gold tone chain. Hi, Wes. What up, Wes? Okay, so Denise, this string of pearls. This is a lot of pearls. They're all individually knotted in between. It's got a mother of pearl clasp. I don't know if this is silver. I don't think this is silver. But. The shortest. The shortest strand, and it's going to fit in, so we don't want to measure that. Yeah, it's 15 inches. So this might do really well for her. Oh, Philly Flipper, thank you for the $4. Okay, guys, listen. We spent a lot of time last week singing, and it was a five-hour auction. You want to hear a custom song? So I was down for the count for two days this week, laying on my butt in my bed. Hi, Rockfish. Laying on my butt in my bed. doing nothing but resting and I will give you a trivia question hi dad so I went to the dollar store this morning and bought pregnancy tests because I thought there could be a chance I was pregnant because I was having a really weird, these, these couple of days that I was down with my fibro, I was having a really, I was nauseous. Just, just nauseous. I've been nauseous for like two weeks, right? And then when my husband would cook, I was like getting nauseous every time like he would cook something. And just the smell of it made me nauseous. And I thought, uh-oh. You know, I mean, I know I'm 52 and I'm postmenopausal, but, you know, it happens, guys. So, I'm going to sing Philly Flipper. Hold on, okay? I'm going to sing. 
Oh, thank you, Rockfish. I am a coffee snob. Um, so I took my took my test. Anybody want to know what my test said? How many of you would crap your pants right now if I said I was pregnant? How many of you besides besides saying good on you, hip flipping daddy? No, I'm not pregnant. It was negative. It was negative. Denise, this one. This was 15 inches. Which if she's petite. Okay. I got to sing that song for Philly Flipper. It's got really beautiful Baroque pearls. Philly Flipper. High five to hip flip and daddy. His boys can still swim. <laughs> Philly Flipper, you get a really good song. Because like you're $9 in now. Thank you, Philly Flipper. <clears throat> Verna just crapped. It laughed at me. The cashier looked at me kind of funny because... I had licorice, root beer, and pregnancy tests. <laughs> About three pregnancy tests. Well, okay. I like to test myself every few months just in case because of the meds that I'm on. And because Hip Flip and Daddy doesn't like to wear condoms. We have them, but he doesn't like to use them. All right. <clears throat> Philly Flipper. You super chatted me just to hear me sing. Oh, so lovingly, and guess what to you? I'll sing a song for you. I'll sing a song for you. But you are in deep. You super chatted me a big nine dollars. And that's fine for me. I'll take it nine. Because it is super fine. I'll take the nine. Daily Flipper, I love you, Philly Flipper, I'll take your money too, yes I will, because I love to sing, hear it ring. Philly Flipper. I love you, Philly Flipper. You got an extra special one because you super chatted me twice. So I really think that there's a few of you that would tune into Monday, Monday Madness Mama or Monday Mama Madness. Monday Mama Madness. And for one hour, Mama will sing for super chats. Monday Mama Madness, singing for Super Chats. <laughs> Monday Mama Madness, Mama Sings for Super Chats. Hi, K-Treasures, or K-Goddess. I call her K-Goddess. Oh, Philly Flipper. You are a crazy dude, Philly Flipper. Guys. Guess what? I'm retaining fluids. Because that was hard to put on. Listen. You're not supposed to say her name. I call her K-Goddess because I don't know that she wants her name out there. And now you just said her name. Let me tell you a little something about Hip Flip and Daddy swimmers. Hip Flip and Daddy 
got a vasectomy back in 94. But guess what? Back in 2007, no, 2008, guess what happened? Okay, I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure, Crystal. So 2008, we found out, oh, I don't know if I can get this off. Oh, crap. Mm. Um, Hit Flippin' Mama ended up pregnant. Mm. So. So we know that we know that Hit Flippin' Daddy has swimmers. Not a lot, but we know he's got swimmers. But, um. I was on so much medication that it destroyed the pregnancy. So I was on, uh, for my fibro, I was on um, Lyrica, which at, uh, they recalled because number one, it was making people suicidal. It was making people do things out of their head. And number three, it was deforming babies really bad. And um, that's what happened with me. And uh, it wasn't a viable pregnancy. So but that's the first time I've ever shared that story. Congratulations. Y'all 18 of you know something that other people don't know. You all know something that most of my family doesn't know. The amount of people that know, knew that story were on one hand. And now everybody knows it. I've had a couple. I've had a couple miscarriages in my life. Not fun. But I'll see them again someday. Oh, Joanne, I'm fine, honey. Thank you. I am fine. Thank you. You guys want to know why I don't like Christmas? Because I lost a baby on Christmas. And had to have surgery the day after Christmas. So that is why I've never been a fan of Christmas. And it was my son's first Christmas. So, I've been through some shit in my days. Let me tell you something. I have been through the ringer, which... Hi, Stash. Thank you, baby. And was the milkman. <laughs> oh, you're all right, Stash. Listen. Listen. I blamed myself for a long, 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 long time. And congratulations. That's why I pushed myself away from the Lord for a decade. I blamed myself because I took all that medication and stuff. Um, and that's why I pushed myself away from the Lord for a decade. And then I met Anthony. And Anthony prayed over me one day. And I physically felt the Lord lift my shoulders, lift my chin. And made me proud again. And now I am back with the Lord. And look what look what Anthony and I have done with our Bible study um, over the last two years. And praise Jesus, he's brought me back. That's all I can say. Now, if I could just get my granddaughter back, life would be perfect. And we're going to go down the hatch with the meds. Most of these are supplements, guys. But uh, 
I know, Sharon, right? Hello, Myra. But, so, that is why, because of the medication issue, that's why I, every couple of months, I like to do a pregnancy test. I just, I go to the dollar store and get them. I know the dollar store pregnancy tests work because back in 2009 when I, I was afraid, I was probably just all of, out of the blue, I think I'm pregnant. I used the dollar store pregnancy test like a whole bunch of them and they worked and they were accurate. So I just do it every couple of months just to make sure, you know. You know, and if I if I ever were to be, I've done this for over a decade, you guys. And if I ever were to be, I know to, to go off the meds because before I was pregnant for months. Okay, months and didn't know it. So. <clears throat> my coffee's gone. Oh, guess what? Dollar store root beer. It's not Mountain Dew. But it'll work. All right, so. We are going to start our auction today with pearls. Stash, I just want to tell you something. I love you so. I love you so. Yes, I do. Uh-oh, Stash. Yeah, Dollar Tree. Stash got a free little ditty there. Stash, guess what? Guess what I'm doing today? Maybe tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. I am recording a bunch of card videos because I have so many cards that I have to unpack from... I've got my cards I've gotten from the boys. I've got cards that I've gotten from Deafness, um, from Paul, and all of that. And I got a lot of cards from the top ten of the draft when Anthony and I were um, when Anthony and I were watching the draft. We were watching the draft together, and my husband wanted to know if I wanted to go to the bar and watch it with him. My son and a bunch of my son's friends. I said, no, I wanted to stay home. Because I wanted to watch it with Anthony. And as we were watching it, I was bidding on autograph, autograph cards of these boys. And I got a bunch of autographs of the top ten. No. Mm -mm. I don't watch Jimmy Guns. Who's Jimmy Guns? I don't know who Jimmy Guns is. I might want to get my jewelry up before we start a jewelry auction. But I have a shit ton of jewelry sitting here. So it's not like I don't have jewelry in front of me. Um, and not only that, guys, I have to put this up. Because I've got a shit ton of jewelry sitting here that I just got in. Like, no joke. I just got it this morning. No, I've never heard of Jimmy Guns. That's interesting. Sharon, I've got some amber rings to show you. So perhaps I'll call you later. Hmm. 
Isn't that, isn't that pretty? It's supposed to be turquoise, but I'm questioning it because it's almost like there's an outer layer to it. I have to test it. I don't trust it. I don't, it's not turquoise. Maybe it is, but I got to test it. It hasn't been processed yet. I haven't processed it. I just got it. Isn't that gorgeous? Never seen a cross like this before. Look at this druzy, y'all. I'm digging on the druzies. It's got a stone up there. Can't have it. It's not processed yet. I got a triangle, triangle box chain. Hi, Mary. A stash. Anthony knows them, and that's beautiful. Look at this, you guys. I am salivating over this. Like, I don't even know if you guys will end up seeing this next week. Remember we were talking about Gaspyite last week? And then I found out, remember that big Gaspyite pendant? I think Verna got it. Verna, did you get your Gaspyite pendant yet? Um, and then look, and now, and then Gianna was telling me it's very, very rare. And I didn't know that. And she got, she found a, a Gaspyite pendant too. And she was all excited and it's beautiful. And hers was like two inches like mine was. And then now I find Gaspyite right there in the middle of the reticulated quartz on top. I think it is. I haven't tested it. Could be spiny oyster. It looks kind of spiny oyster. But again, I haven't really looked at it. So these will these all all be available next week. Because I have to process them. I have to really, really look at them and process them. Isn't that gorgeous? And then I've got this beautiful turquoise pendant. Look at this bar spring, y'all. Holy crap. Look at that bar spring. I'm telling you, man. All right. I'm hot, but I don't mean sexy. All right, so we are going to start with pearls, guys. I might just get to keep these pearls after all, because they're too big for Denise's daughter. Oh, it just crossed the U.S.-Canadian border? Oh, my gosh, Verna. Ugh. I, I really... You guys, I don't ever itch my nose unless I'm doing a jewelry auction. And I really think it's the alcohol. I really do think it's the alcohol. Oh, you want the 19-inch ones. So you want these ones. Okay. You want the... Okay. I, should, I have to know this because I could take... The ugliest, most unwanted piece of jewelry in the world. Goodbye, Stash. I love you so much, honey. I'll probably see you later at on Deafness's live because he's he's doing a 24-hour live today. Thank you, Stashy. Um, and put it in my personal collection and wear it for a month and then sell it 
and somebody would buy it just because it was in my personal collection. That seems to be, um, I don't know if it's the getting the mama love on the jewelry when I wear it, it, it gets infused in love. You know what I'm saying? Uh, goodbye, Stashy. All right, guys. We're going to start with this 19-inch beautiful pearls. And these are... Now, I personally like Baroque pearls. You know me. I like different. I like... Um imperfect. I like things that are a little off. Oh, go figure. Um, but that's just me. I gotta get my tester. But these are very pretty. And these are very... They're not perfect. They're not, um, you know, absolutely round. They're not all the same size. They're not what you find in a jewelry store. Well, you might, because they're pretty close. I mean, they're pretty pretty. All right, you guys know the drill. I have to bring you close. I'm going to tell you something. My shoulders are hurting still from the Wednesday night auction on Gianna's channel. Uh-oh. Hang on. Hold on. All right. I'm going to bring you closer. And we're going to start these pearls. We're going to start these pearls at $20. Yeah, I know that's cheap. But that's what we're going to start them at. 20 bucks. They're 19 inches. 19 and a half. No, about 19. Oh, root beer, don't go anywhere. 19 and a half. I'll measure them again. There we go. Hello, my darlings. That these are nine two five, the clasp and the um, the jump ring to split ring, individually knotted. No, it is twenty inches because when I put it down the end, yeah, it's twenty inches. Denise is in at 20. I'll show you guys. There's the lobster claw clasp. They're very nice. Individually knotted. Now these are older pearls, but look at how white the knotting is. The knotting is still very clean. So these were worn on the outside. These, these were not worn touching skin. Well, I wore them touching skin, but. We're going to go right. Yeah, it's beautiful luster, right, Cheryl? Right to fair warning with Denise. Okay. Hi, Virginia. Okay, so there's no bid on these. Denise is no longer interested in these. If anybody wants to come in at 20, Denise doesn't want them. So, if you were interested in these at 20 but didn't want to bid against Denise, she doesn't want them now. 
Okay. And then the other pearls I have is this strand, which is Baroque pearls. And 925 beads and crystals. I'm trying to figure. They flash like a Aurora, Aurora Borealis, but I don't know if that's because they're picking up on my the colors of my shirt. And this is uh, Spring Ring. There's the... Oh, don't you muck with me today, Cameron. We're not doing this. And then there's the sterling silver beads and there's the crystals. See how they kind of like flash a little bit of color? I think it's just reflecting on what I'm wearing. And this is short. So, 925 findings. Let me see how long this is. I don't have another just pearl strand. This is 17 inches. And I would start this at, oh, I would start this at $15. And that's really pretty. And then I'll show you the other ones I have. Of course, on me, I can't even clasp it. And then I have this, which I'm going to test and see if it's jade. And it is testing jadeite. Right up into jadeite. So, and this is all Baroque pearls with the jadeite beads. No clasp on this. So, we're just going to say gold tone beads. This is 37 inches. No clasp. It's just all long. Come on, focus. There we go. And those are jade beads. I'll start these at 20. Very long, very pretty. I could not double this on me, but other people could double it for sure. Because it's, what did I say? It was 36 inches, 37 inches with the jadeite. Okay. Since I got all my pearls out, I may as well show them. And then this, the 15 inch. That is sink that's knotted all in between with the mother of pearl class. This is vintage. I don't know if this is sterling, you guys. I'm sure I tested it at some point. I don't think this is sterling. We're just gonna say silver tone. And I could do 15 on this one. That's the clasp. Double strand. The shortest strand is 15 inches. So I'm guessing the other strand is 17. So it's a double strand. Let me see what the second one is. Oh, it's 15 and a half. My bad. Let me see what the second strand is. Yep, seven, well, 18. But it hangs down, so 
You have to you have to go by the other one. All right. So that's my pearls, you guys. Unless you wanted these all the little pancake pearls. And this is a heavy chain, which is why I don't wear it. It has a T clasp. And I would do 18 on that one. This is the one I showed earlier. All right. Oh, here's amethyst and pearls. Oh, this goes with that ring. Look at that. Here's the ring. It's a wraparound ring. And then here's the amethyst. See, they match. I must have bought them together. So there's this one. Let me see how long this one is. That's 36 inches. I could do 20 for both of those. Uh, that's funny. You know what you could also do if you could if you could double wrap these, you could use the ring to keep the the wrap together. Like this, if you could do like this. This is just me in my mind thinking, never mind. Hi Nikki. And then use the ring to wrap it and that would be a bracelet. I'm just saying. All right, guys, that's all my pearls. I probably, I've got colored pearls. That's all my white pearls. I have peacock pearls, too, but I have lots of other pearls. I have these that are, they're not connected. They go around your neck and dangle, or you can tie them. What are you sorry for? You got nothing to be sorry for. All right. We are going to I can't quit playing with these since I took them off my pegboard. Anybody interested in two glass bangles? You need two glass bangles for 10 bucks. I don't know, I just playing with them this one's two and three quarters this one's two and a half i just can't i just can't i gotta stop all right here we go i got some stuff you guys have never seen before A mess today. All right, are you guys ready? These are measuring one inch exactly long and three quarters of an inch wide. These just, for some reason, I think it's because they're they look like a pyramid. They look Egyptian to me. And those are lapis. And I will start these at $13. No, 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 no. If anybody's interested in those, I just think they're unique looking. Those pretty. I think they're pretty. Here's the back. Oh, my shoulder. 
Verna is in at 13. How did I know these were Verna earrings? There's the 925. These are just, I think these are cute. I, you know, blue is not my favorite color. We all know purple is. But you never see me wearing amethyst. As much as I love amethyst, you never see me wearing it. I wear all my lapis. Isn't that pretty? Verna is in at 13. Anybody want to come in 14? I'm going to be quick call today, guys. So if you want something, don't wait because I'm going right to fair warning. Is it Nikki? Thank you, Verna. You know what? I'm going to do a giveaway on this bracelet. Right here, I'm going to do a giveaway on this lapis and pearl bracelet. Hi, Dolly. We're going fair warning to Verna. Dolly, I never invoiced you for last Saturday's auction because these are sold to Verna. Congratulations, Verna. Those are freaking beautiful and gorgeous. And you got them really cheap. Do I need to pluck my mustache? Can you see it? Oh, you're welcome. Okay, so whoever just texted me, I'm unavailable because my purse is like five feet away and that's too far to reach. No, because I don't know if I'm supposed to send it to your personal email or your business email. I just never know. Bye, Edna. Edna, when did you get here? I didn't even know you were here, Sissy Edna. Love you. I didn't even know she was here. Oh, right there, popping in to say hi. Good morning. Um, so, Look, Verna. Do you guys want to see what Verna got at Wednesday's auction over at um, Gianna's channel with with uh, it was Gianna, um, Sissy Edna that just popped in, and me. She got Chinese turquoise. <gasps> Yes. They're very light, not like these. These ones are heavier. You're going to love them. I am going to do... I can't think of what it's called now. Unikite. Sorry for all the motorcycles, guys. I live in Comstock. I live in redneck country. Not really redneck country, but there's a bunch of critters. You guys don't even know what that means. Here. Lapis earrings. I can't even believe I started those so low. What was I thinking? There should be a two in front of them and not a one. All right. Unikite. Now, this is a little bit different color for Unikite, but this is Unikite. It is in the Unikite family. It is gorgeous. 
I'm like, where's my ruler? And I'm feeling my neck. I don't know why. Guys, I have that cross, that, that sterling silver cross. You have critters there. Critters is an old term when I was a kid. People that used to smoke cigarettes and go down to the beer store at lunch hour for Mountain Dew were critters. Something about Mountain Dew. If you drank Mountain Dew, you were a critter. Guess I'm a critter now, but. And when I say beer store, like literally where I am sitting right now, the high school is this way. There's a four, great big four-way stop. You go through the four-way stop, and there's the high school that I went to. You go down here to the end of the road, and there's the beer store. You can get pop and all kinds of stuff down there, but there's the beer store. It's closed now. But there's the beer store. And so people would drive from the school to the beer store on lunch. They were like from the wrong side of the tracks. Critters were. You found an animal critter this morning. Your Yorkie brought it to me. Well, don't get mad at your Yorkie because, you know, Yorkies are, they're critter hunters. They, you know, your dog is small for a reason. It's to, to hunt for critters and to go into holes if, if they need to go into holes to get to the critters. So, you know, don't be all mad at your Yorkie because that's what he was bred for. Oh, Cheryl. Yeah, Dolly, that's what terriers do. So what you're saying for jewelry auction, I'm nice. That's because I talk so damn much. You're not here for the jewelry. You're just here to see what I say. Oh, my shoulder. Okay, so this is a unikite pendant. And this has got a hinge. So I suppose I should say it's articulated. But I just think a hinge is cooler. Hinge, it's a hinge. That's a freaking hinge. But the bale is so where's my camera? The bale is so gorgeous. Now normally unikite is more of a peachy color in a more bright brighter green, but this is unikite and it's got it's got that rusty red color right there. Just a pop of it. I think that's so cool. I'm going to start this at $30. It is almost two inches. Whenever I say two inches, I think of like a limp. You know what I mean? And I don't know why, because that's not hit flipping daddy, but I don't know why I think that. There I go. Speaking what pops in my head. Okay, Nancy. Well, those can't be my grandkids then if they were scared of a mouse. So it, this is one and three quarters inches long. And three quarters of an inch wide. Anybody want to come in at 30? It's really pretty. And look at that bail. That bail is really pretty. I like this. Don't freaking buy it for me, though. I have to say that because y'all are so damn generous. Look at that. Most other auctions are rude. They're like vultures. Aww. Whose auction was it? Most most people in the jewelry know me. I like that. I think that's cool. Nobody's interested. 
I think it, I think it's unique. Let me show you the back. I almost like the back better than I like the front because it's got white in it. You know, I think this is bent a little. Oh, it's because the way it was put on. It's because it's rounded at the top. Here's the back. Oh, thank you, Verna. Cameron, Verna complimented you today. There's the 925. And there's the back. I almost like the back better than the front. I just like that pop of white. I suppose you could wear it like that. Oh, right there. I'm going to dig myself raw right there. Looks like a hickey, doesn't it? All right, I will put that away. Because nobody likes my unikite. It's okay, unikite. Mama likes you. All right. Oh. Yes, I love the pain. I love the pain. There are benefits to having... Oh, it's Facebook? Yeah, those bitches are rude. They can be. Look at that. I just did that to myself, you guys. I am a self-harmer. Not intentionally, though. It's not intentional. I guess I got to give... Oh, no, because that goes with the, the necklace. Okay. Mama loves you. Don't be sad. All right. So here we go. I'm going to do this pendant. This is a little pendant. Because it is the same color as that Chinese turquoise. I just scratched it. Did you not see? Were you not watching? I was scratching my neck and I did that. I just did it right in front of you all. I'm not kidding you. This spot right in between your bro your boobs. I almost said breasts, but then I didn't I was afraid you might think I'm classy. In the night I dug right right the spot right in between your breasts and I dug like a quarter of an inch hole. Meat and everything right in in between my breasts. Um, yeah, and it like I was showing it to Beth every day. I'm like, what do you think? Is it healing? Is it healing? Is it healing? And I had to put band-aids on it and medicine and it had to fill in and oh yeah, it was a mess. I don't I don't know because I just, I really, when I, when I scratch or I dig myself, it's just, I'm really, I'm really hard. Like, I don't just scratch like, oh, I have an itch. Like with my little nails. No, I'm like, you know, like, we can't tell. I'm just rough. I'm rough like that. I'm not a feminine chick. Okay, this is an inch, just a little over an inch long. And it is over half of an inch wide. And I'm going to start this at $18. It is turquoise. 
It's beautiful turquoise. I am a machine. I'm like the Terminator. I'm the jewelry Terminator. Isn't that pretty, you guys? Look at that. Look at the the detail work starting at 18. Here's the back. There is it's a sterling, but it's gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous, and it's that beautiful bright blue. And I asked um, Gianna, I said, ooh, maybe this is Chinese turquoise too. And she said, no. She's just, she is so freaking knowledgeable, that one. And this is very light. It's very light. It's very gorgeous. But we'll put that away, too. We will put... Is Patty here? If Patty's here, she's going to come out of the woodwork now. Oh, I see another piece of jewelry. I am going under the desk. Oh, there's my vitamin D pill. There's my other clip-on earring. I know it was on the floor. I've had worse things in my mouth. All right, what else do we have? Oh, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. I was just teasing you. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to do these. I made some pendants, but they're not done. I have to perfect them. All right, we're going to do this. This is a Copacalli pendant. Hey, if you guys see Kathy in the chat today, hi, Kimmy. I forgot to send her her free gift last week. I gave away some free gifts last week. I forgot to send her her free gift. Oh, my God. Patty is here. She's like, I'm here. I just got here. I have a feeling that every time my ass goes in the air, Patty hears a ding in her head. Every time my ass goes in the air, Patty hears a ding. Kelly's under the desk. It's a good thing I don't have a desk in my bedroom to be getting a notification every time. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is 18 inches. This is a very nice box chain. Very nice. Spring ring clasp. Oh, my God. This shoulder. Spring ring clasp. Beautiful box chain. Look at this, you guys. Let me cover up my face. Cameron, Verna commented that you were being a good boy today. Don't blow it. Box chain. Gorgeous. Thicker box chain. And there's your Coco Pelly pendant. I actually put that jump ring on there because it didn't come with a jump ring. This is not a sex Coco Pelly or a baby Coco Pelly. This is an abundance Coco Pelly. 
Unless you want an abundance of babies, I guess. And this is two inches long by almost an inch wide. We'll say three quarters of an inch wide. And I will start this at 25. That is a very nice Coco Pelly. And here's the back. It says Sterling. And this is what it would look like. This chain is so beautiful. Cheryl's in at 25. You probably do have ESP, Betty. I wouldn't doubt it. Isn't that beautiful? This chain is freaking gorgeous. And that's all I have to say about that. This is, I should have kept this chain. It is that nice since I can wear an 18 now. Very nice. We are going to go fair warning to Cheryl. I'm not counting shit down today, guys. We're just going to go fair warning because that's what I feel like. Yeah, you do. Look at that. Beauteous. Depends on what you want an abundance of. And that is sold to Cheryl for 25. <sighs> and the crowd goes wild. Cheryl has a brand new envelope. Another motorcycle. Every time you hear a motorcycle go past, take a shot. Put shot in the put shot in the chat. Shot. Wes, are you still here? I'm talking about boobs and hickeys. And Wes is still here. That's a scratch though. Congratulations, Cheryl. All right. Here is another really nice. But you know what? This is actually this is actually my chain. That I took out to auction for somebody. But they're not around, so Alright guys, I've got a pendant. I don't have a chain for it. I'm really low on chains, guys. I'm really sorry. The chains I have, if I were to put on the pendants, would make the price of the pendants go way up. Because they're like heavy ropes and stuff like that. This pendant with the bail is an inch, almost an inch and three quarters. It's in between an inch and a half and an inch and three quarters. And then um, it is an inch and an eighth wide. Now, this pendant is really pretty in that it has a large garnet, a small garnet, and an orange tourmaline. It is really unique looking. You need a nice box link. A nice box chain. What size box chain are you looking for? Oh, crap. I forgot to check my email. Hold on. You bought a necklace and it came on a 60-inch chain? You mean you bought a pendant? Okay, so here's the pendant. So we've got large garnet, small garnet, and this is an orange tourmaline. This is really pretty. 
And I will start this at 26. And there's no like 925 or sterling or anything like that. Uh, but of course I tested it. It's really pretty. Now this one, I'm not an orange fan, but maybe I need to tell Hip Flip and Daddy he needs to give me a lotion massage. That would hurt. And this is what it looks like. <clears throat> That's pretty. All right. I have to read it now. Dolly, you're one to say don't read that email when you text me. For all I know, it's text from you. Oh. Dolly, right there. Dolly. Oh, refund issued. 9434 for my Okio Labs USB camera. I sent that document reader back. Cheryl likes my water pitcher. Do you, Cheryl? Ooh, I know it's only 32 ounces. But you know what? I was helping out a new a new auction person um, was doing an auction, and I like to support. You guys know I like to support all of the auctions. And so I bought it. I don't see Oh, Scott D. Henry, I love you, but you just took too long. I don't see an email from you, honey. I know you said check when you get a minute, check check your email. I don't see an email from you. I had a package delivered, though, which may have jewelry in it. Should I go look? Baby, I don't see an email from you. Oh, it's my Mike Tyson t-shirts. I ordered two Mike Tyson t-shirts before I went broke. Okay, whoever said they emailed me, I do not see an email from you. Can you please resend it? I cannot check my email. I don't see an email from you. I'm going back to hit flipping mama. Muscle spasm. Yeah, baby. I don't see an email from you. All right, you guys. I have some rings. You guys want to do a bracelet? All right, y'all. I can get this bracelet on, but I don't have that 8-inch wrist anymore. 
you say. My neck is getting smaller. So this is a size 7. I know this is handmade, y'all, but it is precise. This is a size 7. It is sterling silver with onyx. It is gorgeous. It is oblong. What the hell is all that? It's never dull. That is never dull. I need to show you something. Are you ready? I don't know if you can take this. I don't know if you can handle this. Okay, I, I told you guys I use never dull a lot. And, and somebody actually questioned me that I use that much never dull. And I scrape the bottom. Still smells like gas. So I don't want to hear it, people. So now I have another one open. All right. All right, so this is a size 7. However, this is how it hooks. It will fit my wrist. It's tight, but it will fit my wrist. And it just snaps on. This is the easiest bracelet to get on in the world. And I will start this at $20. And that's flipping cheap. I love that it is oblong. And that it's hinged. Here's how it hinges. I'll show you. Come on, you little fart. Focus, Cameron. That's all. That's all you got to do to get it on. And then to get it off, you just raise that a little bit. It's just so easy to get on. Watch. I'm going to put it on my wrist. And you guys know I can't get anything on and off by myself, right? Line it up. That's it. You want to take it off? Just lift it a little bit. You got to lift the right way, though. I was lifting on the hinge. Like that. And there you go. Oh, there's the... Nine two five, and I don't know what this says. Burn is in at twenty. Oops, I put sexy on upside down. I must be high. This is like M U J I F Mexico. Oh, I think that's just the maker mark. Yeah, I think that's just the maker mark. M-U-J-I-F. I don't think that's the designer. Vern is in at 20. I have something special to show you guys. But I'm not selling it. Because it's yeah, MUJIF has something to do with stocks. We're going fair warning to Verna for this. Twenty-five. 
for 20. Ebisk. Oofisk. 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 Is it helping? Soul Taverna, Soul Taverna. Congratulations. All right. Guys, I forgot about this. This is a Silpata bracelet that was sold before, but they changed their mind. They actually just kind of lost faith in me because their package took a long time to get to them, which I understand. They were a new customer, and their first package took freaking forever because they held it. And so I understand. The chain is 20 and 3 quarters inches long. But we're going to start up at the knot. So we're going to say it's 20 and a half. Lobster claw clasp. It is a salpata. Oofisk. Do you know what I'm going to do from now on when Tom is snoring? Like, he will wake up and say, turn that shit down and I'll be like oh, excuse me I'll be listening to YouTube right in the dark and I'll be like I wouldn't even have to turn it up if it wasn't for your stinking snoring I have to turn it up because I can't hear over your snoring and you have the balls to tell me to turn it down I'm feeling feisty today man All right, somehow I got this tangled, guys. This is something only Mama could do. Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. Thank you for loving me. That's really all I can say is thank you for your love. Because out of love comes patience, acceptance, and forgiveness. And there we go. This has. No, honey, it's not. It, it has nothing to do about that. I don't blame her one bit. I don't blame her one bit. I am a merchant. And as a merchant, I am completely responsible until that product reaches you, the customer. Now, if the mail is holding it or it's lost in the mail or whatever. That is 100% my problem until it reaches you. Um, I filed a claim on it, and that's when they, well, that's when it, I split my eye right there, and I have like a scab in my eye. Can you guys see it? I actually, right there, I split my eye because I was rubbing my eye, and I scratched inside my eye, and I split my eye right there. Can you see where I split my eye? I should have gone to the doctor for it, but I didn't. Yeah, Nant Cheryl, you shouldn't say stupid. She's tired and cranky today, Nancy. She doesn't mean it. Cheryl is a, is a very wonderful person. She's just a crank pot this morning. She's real bitchy this morning, so she doesn't mean that. I can say that about Cheryl because we're close. Cheryl is one of the, she's very, very nice. She's just cranky today. Here is the Silpata mark. Um, but I take full responsibility for that. And um, if I, you know, as soon as it was made aware to me, I started watching it and filed a, 
inquiry claim. And then when they didn't do anything on the inquiry claim, I filed a actual claim through the post office. And then that's when they started movement on it again. Um, so as soon as I knew about it, I did something about it, but it's still my responsibility. It's not her fault and I don't blame her. And she is the sweetest person. So it is not her fault. She's just not used to buying things on, on auctions and all of that stuff. So it's not her fault. She is. She's being bitchy today. Cheryl's being bitchy today. It's okay. We love you, Cheryl. We know that, that you don't mean anything by it. You're just blowing steam. And look, I, I am who I am. I'll call you out. I've, I've, I've reprimanded more than one person in my chat for, for being stupid, rude, ridiculous, whatever. But Cheryl's just not herself today. She's been having trouble sleeping. This has got something on it, and I want to see what it says. And, of course, my fat finger's in the way. Okay, so anyway, we know it's a Silpata. I still have sex again. Mm, whatever. Okay, so knotted cord. Little jaspers. These are jaspers. And then here's the, the Silpata pendant. I feel bitchy today, too, so front and back, and I'll start this at 25, guys, if anybody's interested in this, and this does have a Silpata on it somewhere, <gasps> excuse me, see, maybe I'm drunk, I got the hiccups and everything. I thought there was a Silpata on this pendant. Is that it right there? You bought a ring off eBay? No. PayPal didn't do anything? Is that it right there? No, I thought this pendant had a Silpata mark on it. You know, I thought about, uh, hi Joyce. I thought about taking the cord off of this and putting it on a chain. But then I devalue the I devalue the sulpata out of it. Oh, Tammy's in at 25. If I'd been paying attention, we could have fair warning it and been done. That's so pretty. Anybody want to come in 27? You know what? We're gonna do buy it now. The rest of this auction. Okay, this is sold to Tammy. I'm going to buy it now, the rest of the auction, because I don't feel like going once, twice, sold and all of that, if you can't tell. Because I'm feeling bitchy, too. All right. Congratulations, Tammy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's very beautiful. You're very beautiful. Okay, we're going to do a trivia because I got to go potty. All right. Trivia. Okay, earlier I said that I was down for the count earlier this week because of my fibro. How many days did I say I laid in bed? How many days did I say I was down for? Go.
My mailman is here. But I don't do pick up on the weekends. Oh. Hello, my gorgeous people. Mona! Mona, 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 Mona. Hi, Mona. And Cheryl got it. Now, I will accept two answers. Because first I said three, and then I said two. But it was two, and then go to bed early. So first I said three, and then I said two. So I am accepting Cheryl's answer. She will get a $3 credit on shipping. And Rhonda will get free shipping. <sighs> Oh, you get a lot of extra stuff. Oh, my shoulder. Oh, my shoulder. Oh, Verna did? Where? I don't even see Verna. It's not even moving. My chat is not moving. Oh, wait a second. Cheryl, what'd you say 25 on? I don't even see Verna in my chat. Oh, well, geez, don't spell stuff. Verna? All right, Verna gets a negative three on her shipping, but so do you, Cheryl, because I said you got free shipping. You, I said you got a $3 credit, so you get a $3 credit. Verna's got to be like a school teacher and spell shit out and confuse me. Well, why did that move forward? Well, I guess it'd have to. All right. So, Cheryl gets a negative three. Look at my box of rocks. Verna gets a negative three. You, I already billed you insurance, Verna, from Wednesday. I'll just do a... I'll just change your lapis earrings to 10. There, I'm only going to bill you $10 on your lapis earrings. Why I'm doing that, I don't know. Because I'm, that's just how I am. So there, your lapis earrings are only 10. And Rhonda gets free shipping. Okay, but Cheryl, here's the thing. I said, Cheryl, you get a $3 credit on your shipping. I won $200 once in a trivia contest, okay? And everybody was like, congratulations, mama, blah, 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 congratulations. And then they said, like, five minutes later, oh, wait a minute, so-and-so said it first. Sorry, mama. I was pissed. You know I was pissed because I needed that. I needed that two hundred dollars. I was like, "Yes, I can pay my bills." This was like three years ago, and I was pissed. Oh, I love you, Verna. Um, but 
Besides, if I'm nothing, I'm giving. I am generous. And I I don't I don't feel bad saying that because I am. All right. Rhonda better win something because she gets free shipping. All right, here we go, guys. For the rest of the auction, everything is buy it now. Buy it now. I am going to show who's got who's got big sausage fingers out there. Put a put a sausage emoji in the chat. I don't know. Is there a sausage emoji? I don't know. Cheryl, I'm not charging you full shipping. Just shut up about it. Hi, Elizabeth. I told you I was bitchy. Okay. This is an eight and a half. Not that that's a big sausage finger, but... Look, I didn't say... I, Rhonda, I didn't say penis emoji. I said sausage emoji. And what... And what I mean, why is eggplant a dick? Is it because of the green part? It looks like a dick. I mean, and, and, and it's up swooping. I don't know. Somebody put a cucumber emoji in one time. And she's like, I'm just keeping it real. Okay, so this is eight and a half. Oh. I'm going to try and do this just with one hand, you guys. I'm sorry. It is an amethyst. I don't think I'm going to be able to. I'm going to keep this hand down and use this one. Hoping, hoping hip flipping daddy ain't looking for any favors today. That's all I got to say. Because with my shoulder, he ain't getting nothing. Mm. Okay, so this is an amethyst. Very pretty. It is a petite setting. Eight and a half inch. I'll put it on my finger so you can see what it looks like. Really pretty amethyst stone. The stone itself is probably... Oh, a quarter carat. So it's not a tiny, tiny stone. Here's what it looks like on my finger. And I will do the first $30 in the chat. Yes, $30 in the chat. We'll get this. Rhonda, you got your ring and necklace. I put a completely different pendant on it, and I am in love. It now holds my sugar light pendant, and you love it. Aww. You must have just got it, Rhonda. Anybody interested in this amethyst ring? Let me give you a close-up on it. Look at the acid on my fingers. Tell me you like eggplant without telling me you like eggplant.
Where'd Dad go? Oh, his car's gone. Huh. All right. Rhonda, you just changed your picture. What's your picture of? All right, guys. I got football cards. My t-shirts. Trivia question. Who did I say I ordered t-shirts from? I said I ordered t-shirts. What t-shirts did I say I ordered? Go. And Cheryl got it. Mike Tyson. So you got your $3 discount anyway. So you can quit complaining. Look at this poly mailer. I'm keeping this sucker. If I order a t-shirt, I don't spend money on stuff like that. So if I'm ordering a t-shirt and I didn't buy it secondhand or for clearance at three or five dollars at Meyer, I paid like oh, oh! bless me. I paid like eighteen dollars a piece. Trivia question. What size t-shirt do I wear? Go. What size t-shirt do I wear? Really, Rhonda? Can you get me in? Can, can you get me in to meet him? I will freaking fly to your house, man. I am there, Rhonda. Can you get me the hookup, man? Rhonda, do you live in North Carolina? Cheryl gets it again. 3X. And then Rhonda. Jeez, Joyce. Do I look that big on camera? But that's okay because I do wear some 5X as I sleep in them. No, I don't go down the line like that. I don't go down the line like that. I used to, but I don't anymore. Yeah, I know he's got in Catskill and New York. I will fly to New York. Did I open my box yet? Oh, that's Rhonda. Yeah, I'm saving that poly mailer because I think that's bigger than the ones that I have. So what did I get? Legal rate priority envelopes. And I don't think they'll fit in my drawer. So we'll put those up here. I know this is an auction, but oh tell me you're a jewelry seller without telling me you're a jewelry seller. All right, who wants to see my t-shirts? Everybody, because I, I want to see them. So guess what? We're cutting into them because I want to see them. It's a break. Wait a second. I ordered two. There isn't two t-shirts in here. Where's my other one? Son of a bitch. Where's my other one? Man, 
this feels like sticky. Everybody has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Everybody has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. It needs washed. It's like sticky. <clears throat> I'm disappointed. I ordered two t-shirts. I want my other t-shirt. I if you guys get an um a bubble mailer in the mail from me and you notice it's been reused. Like I've recycled it. I'm sorry. I believe in doing that. Priority mail. So, especially bubble mailers. I definitely recycle bubble mailers because they're expensive. Okay. So, I guess we're back to the auction. All right. Son of a bitch. I really, I mean, this was the second one that I got. This was the second one that I got. I had another one. It was really cool looking. Okay, so nobody likes the the ring. We'll put that down. All right, guys. Yeah, so if you get a bubble mailer, I got to do a video on this, but I seal all my envelopes now, as you guys know, so you can't get into it from any side. You have to actually cut them open. But I'm going to do a video on how I do that. All right. So I have got um, some sterling silver earrings with gold over silver and amethyst. This is how you open the earrings. Here's the little silver thing. And then you just fit this in the hole like that. But here's the hoop. They're really, really cute. That is amethyst with gold over silver. And a little silver ball. Don't ask me how I tested that damn silver ball. It was not easy, but I did it. You know, all I would have had to have done. Oh, no, these discs don't move. That's right. These discs are sedentary. And I'm going to do buy it now. Sixteen dollars, one six for these earrings. They're really cute. Everything else, remember, is buy it now, guys. Actual amethyst, gold over silver. Beautiful. I think these earrings are beautiful. If I could wear these, you wouldn't be getting them. For $16 in the chat. Let me see if I can get one on. Everything else is right about me today. Okay. Oh, I got it. Now, how do I hook it in the back? See, all hoops go sideways on me, guys. I don't know why. They didn't used to. They used to be, like, straight like this. I guess as I aged and got fat and everything, I don't know. But there they are. They're adorable. Actual amethyst. And no 16 in the chat. <laughs> I 
I can't even tell I have these on. My husband's gone. He took off. I don't know where he went. But he wouldn't have told me anyway because he wouldn't have wanted to bother me. Oh, there's my hole. No, I don't have trouble finding my hole. Just my ear hole. Elizabeth and Elizabeth K. Yeah, she's not Elizabeth K. Oh, Sanders in at 16. I told you, all I have to do is put Mama DNA on something and it sells. I'm telling you. Well, now look, it's not even in there and it's hanging right. See that? Now it's hanging right. This one's incorrectly and it's just, it's not hanging right. Aren't those pretty though? Okay, so while these are out, I am going to alcohol these. Very good. I have been told by two nurses, you guys, I need to stop sanitizing my hands so much. It's true. But I just feel that I need to do that because of COVID and everything. You know what I mean? Because of COVID and everything, I need to do that for you guys. Because I want you to feel um, safe when you, well, that went in the air. Yeah, well, you know, Sanders got these for 16. I don't know. It's just, you know, I want you guys to be like, okay, mama's really careful. Mom is really cautious and she's, you know, she's very respectful and, you know, we don't have to worry about that shit with her. Sandra. Woo, wrong Sandra. Oh, Sandra, I think I reused your envelope. And I don't have an envelope for you now. Okay. So what we do, I have ordered more envelopes. So we're going to... Oh, that's a, that's a legal size there. We're going to use a, one of these and we're going to write Sandra Garrison very lightly. And there we go. And put them in here. Look how special you are, chick. Oh, yeah. Sandra Garrison. She gets the Rolls Royce. Okay. All right. Now, the next pendant that I have, you guys... Hi, Steven. Thank you, Steven. I am feeling much better. Um, as, as I said to you guys that I was down for a couple of days, one of those days was Bible study. I skipped Bible study Tuesday. And I was just so nauseous and headache and... Uh, just, 
down for the count. Feeling much better, baby. Thank you. I appreciate you. Wednesday, I was up and at it again. All right, you guys. This pendant measures an inch and a quarter long with the bail. And almost a head, just like, oh my gosh, an eighth of an inch off of a uh, half of an inch wide. And this is a blue topaz. And we're going to go, it's probably a quarter of a carat, if not a third of a carat of blue topaz. Aww. What, Cheryl? Is what Gatsby I eat? Cheryl, refresh. Cheryl, you're way behind. Somebody type Cheryl to refresh. It's Tuesday, Stephen. But have a really good trip. All right, guys. So this is kind of sort of a Celtic look a little bit. Um, blue topaz. What did I start this at? Did I do a starting bid? I'll do a, I'll do a, oh, I, that starting bid, a buy it now, huh? I'll do a buy it now, 28 bucks. Buy it now of $28. I'll show you the bag. There's the 925. Of course, I acid test everything. There's the maker mark. And Cheryl, to answer your question, that will be auctioned off next Saturday. I just got all this today. So um, I haven't tested it yet. But yes, it is gaspyite. Um, in the in the triple pendant, that is gaspyite, um, and that will be available next Saturday because I had I just got it this morning, and um, I haven't had a chance to process it. Okay, Denise, love you, baby. Anybody in at twenty eight for this? Buy it now. All right, we're going to go through a whole bunch of stuff now really, really quick. This pendant measures with the bale a little over three quarters of an inch. It is three eighths of an inch wide. It is a prayer box. And we are going to go first. $18 takes it. It is a round prayer box. By Denise. Dolly, I'll call you after the auction because uh, I got to find out what where you know what email address to send your invoice from last Saturday, unless you pick something up from today. So that's little like four hearts. Buy it now, 18. Here's the pendant. Now, I haven't cleaned this, guys. I can definitely clean this if you want it cleaned. I don't find round prayer boxes very often. If you want a chain, I can put a chain on it for $20. I can put a, a nice 18-inch chain on it, but I'll, it'll raise it up 20 So here's the marks on this. Which I don't know what they say. Let's find out. 
Love you, Denise. Tell Mr. Denise I said hi. 925. Let me get under my... My lamp. I love this little lamp with the adjustable light. Love it. And I can wear my sexy with it. So it says. Thailand. Yeah. Made in Thailand. All right. No 18 for the prayer box, guys. Okie dokie. All right, now this is just the chain that I'm selling on this. And the reason that I'm selling it is it is an uh, is it septicon. What is six sides? I've never seen a chain like this, ever. It is very, very strong. There's a spot that needs cleaned. I, I notice I missed. 16 inches. And we're just going to do a flat 20 on this. But look at, it is a beautiful chain, but I want you to look at it. It's a very strong chain. It's got six sides. Oopsies. Okay, look closely. Do you see that? Um, it's 16 inches, Rhonda. Buy it now, $20. It is marvelous. I think that you're correct. I think that is hexagon. But it is... This is a strong chain. It's a strong freaking chain. And but I want to show you how beautiful it is. You can you can run your pendant on this chain all day every day and it is not going to hurt this chain. See how sparkly this chain is? This is gorgeous. This is an exceptional chain, which is why I'm selling it by itself and for 20. Andrea's in at 20. Thank you, Andrea. You're going to love this chain. This chain is freaking gorgeous. Now, you can kink this chain if you do it on purpose. Like if you were to bend this, you know, because it, it it's like in the snake chain family. But... This is not going to, I mean, I'm being rough with this. And I don't have to worry about it kinking. Mama, so many auctions on this YouTube. I missed you on Tuesday Bible study. You didn't miss me, Virginia. I called in sick. I wasn't feeling well Tuesday. I was having fibromyalgia problems. And I missed Bible study Tuesday. So, um, but Deb... Deb Mowers or Mowers came in and filled in for me and did a wonderful job because I was listening to it. There's the spot that needs cleaned right there. But this is a gorgeous chain. Let me just put it into twos. Gorgeous chain. How sparkly. 
and I just kinked this sucker up. I mean, I you saw what I did to it, and there's no kinks in it. I think I might have twisted it when I put it in the thing, though. Because see how it twists a little bit? So whenever that happens, undo it. Hold it by the clasp. Run your fingers down it like this. And then hook it. It, it shouldn't kink on you. Not kink, but, you know, how it twists at the bottom. There you go. Now it's not twisting at the bottom. Virginia, all my friends are on YouTube. I don't have friends that I see and stuff like that. I mean, sometimes, but, you know. Oh, Andrea Baker's in at 20. I forgot this is by it now. Why didn't y'all remind me? I'm going this and that, and blah, 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 blah. We could have sold two more things by now. Come on, guys. You're supposed to, like, keep me from being old and stupid. Andrea, where's your folder? I ordered more of those size, and I still haven't got it. You know, by the way, I don't care if I ordered more envelopes, and I'm using for my auction, because I was denied a USPS claim for like $40. Because it said the item was delivered. And it wasn't delivered. And yeah, thanks, Elizabeth. And so I refunded the money and I was out $40. So when I ordered more envelopes, I was like, I don't care if I, if I use them for my auction for USPS because they just took $40 of my money. So I didn't care. Pissed me off. And this person is a longtime person. And one of my OGs, and I know this person would not lie. This is a God-fearing person, and they would not lie. Um, Andrea, I didn't know you were a reseller. You need to start telling me, like, if you buy from me and you flip it, I want to know how much money you make off it. That's one of the prerequisites. Like, Tammy's a flipper. Johnny's a flipper. Dolly's a flipper. Although, Dolly usually keeps her stuff. Um, I want to know how much money you make off of my, my stuff. I don't get upset over that. I think it's a sept. Septogram. I don't know. Yes, yeah, so I'm a little pissed at the post office right now. So I don't care if I'm using their products right now. Because, yeah, I'm a little pissed. I don't, because, you know, when I started using those, they were old. They were old, and I don't use those anymore. So instead of throwing them away, I took them out of the garbage and thought I could use these for my auctions. So I was recycling. Well, shit the bed, Andrea. Oh, Nikki. God bless you, baby. Okay. This is going to be a real quick... We're going to go $15 on this pendant. Now, we're going to go $12 on this pendant. Sterling silver. This is a lot, you know, a nice good amount of sterling. It measures. One inch long. And between three quarters of an inch and an inch wide. And it, ah, my shoulder. It is blue cat's eye. Beautiful, beautiful blue cat's eye. 
what did I say? Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. Buy it now. And there's Italy. Oh no, it's nine two five. I lied. And Verna's got it at twelve. She's like, I ain't no damn fool. I ain't no damn fool. I, you know, you can tell I'm in pain today. For my stuff, maddening. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, guess what? There's a house, three houses down that way. That's the same way. Yep. Okay. Bye, Cheryl. I love you, honey. I'll probably talk to you tomorrow. So I'm talking to Cheryl two days ago, right? Facebook Messenger. And she is completely in the dark. And I'm like, I want to see your face. And all of a sudden, she puts a light on her face. And all I can see is her actual face. She's like the Wizard of Oz, the man behind the curtain, where all you see is the face. Okay, we're going to do a giveaway. I've given away more shit. You could tell I'm in pain because I'm real potty mouth today. I'm really sorry. Oh, good, Verna. Yeah, she's got an auction tonight at 6 o'clock on Facebook. I don't usually mention it because it's a members only auction. And so you can't just go and, and get into it. So, um. I don't really talk about it that much because not everybody can get into it. I used to be a moderator of it so I could let people in, but she took all the mod abilities away from at least me. I don't know about other people. Because I was, I was letting people join and then I kept forgetting to tell her, oh, so-and-so joined, so-and-so joined, so-and-so joined. Itchy. Wait a second. I put 16 down here and I sold it for 12. I almost overcharged you $4 and you wouldn't have said a damn thing, Verna. Because that's how you are. Verna, you are one of my OGs. And I appreciate you so much. I know I didn't say that into the camera, but I do. All right, guys. I have got. I'm going to sell this with the chain, okay? Because, well, no, I'm not going to sell it with the chain because the chain's not silver, but the findings of the chain are silver. But I want those findings. So I'm going to take this off, but I'm going to sell the pendant because the pendant is so freaking cute. Let me take this off. The pendant looks like it is um, pewter. But it's not. It is not pewter. It is silver. Because I tested it. I paid a lot of money for this chain. And I happened to get this. I, I buy chains off of shopgoodwill.com. And once in a while I'll get I'll get pieces off of there. If I see an exceptional piece, like I'm bidding on some stuff right now that is exceptional. I'm just going to leave that because you know what? You can get a chain through there. Um, and uh, I hope I get it. But I don't usually find pieces on there. Well, sometimes. I like to see my pieces in person, but I can't always do that. So, anyway, it's like a 28-inch chain, but it's not silver. So, and I'm going to take the lobster claw clasp off it. So, okay, this pendant measures, he's so freaking cute. He is an inch and a quarter long and wide. He measures three quarters of an inch wide, and he is so adorable and he is so detailed. I guess I should stop looking at him and show him to you, huh? Oh, Sandra, you're in pain. 
Oh. Dear Heavenly Father, I lift up to you, Sandra, who is in pain right now, Lord. I lift up to you, Kathy, who is dealing with broken ribs. I lift up to you, everybody in the chat, for coming and being with me today, Lord, when there's 100,000 channels on YouTube and they pick mine. I thank them for their patience because I get sidetracked and talk for an hour in between selling of items. And I thank you for their love, their patience, their kindness, their super chats, because I do like to sing, Lord. And, Lord, I lift up to you my pain today. I lift up to you Dolly's pain today. I know she's in pain today. Cheryl's pain, Tammy's pain, everybody's pain, Lord. I lift up to you emotional, physical, psychological, all of our pain, Lord. I lift up to you and I ask that you just place your hand upon all of our foreheads and zap that pain away, Lord. Just make it go away and give us give us a happy, joyous and prosperous day, Lord. In your name, amen. Okay. Hi, Anna. Anna Mora. All right, guys. We're going to do buy it now. $15 on this. There's the bear. He's got his mouth open. He's holding on to this little ring right here. Oh, you're welcome, Sandra. I love you so much. And then the back of him, look at his little tail. Look at his little tail. Look at, oh, I almost dropped that. Look at his little back fat. See his little back fat right there? Look how detailed he is. He looks pewter, doesn't he? But he's silver, guys. And I did not clean him. I did not clean him on purpose. He got a spray, but I did not clean him on purpose because I love the black in him look at his face his mouth is open and he just hangs from your chain like this yeah he's sterling andrea he just hangs from your chain and there this is big enough to put a chain through if i had a chain to put through him $15 buy it now Nikki and I am going to test and make sure this ring right here that's 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 soldered to him I want to see if that's sterling because that's looking like it's not sterling to me so I want to make sure this to see if this is sterling here's the scratches so for anybody, okay, this is the bear, and this is that top ring. So I'm thinking that top ring's not sterling. We're going to check right now. Okay, Nikki's got it for 15, but we're still going to test this because I'm thinking that top ring is not sterling, but it's soldered onto him. And you can't solder. You cannot solder silver tone onto silver. So I don't know how they did that. I guess maybe you can. I'm not a soldering expert. I am going to learn, though. Okay, so here's the bear. He's a hard... He's a hard 925. Right there. A lot of people will, they'll look down, they'll look down at it and go, oh yeah, for sure, that scratch is definitely silver. You can't do that. Then they'll drop the acid onto the scratch and they'll go, oh yeah, that's red. That looks red. That's definitely silver. No. You have to wipe it off with something. And I have found Q-tips to be the easiest way, then you don't get acid on your skin like right there and acid on your fingers like right there don't ask sometimes i will test like 50 things at a time and i and i get my fingers into the acid okay so here's the the solder jump ring yeah nikki do you still want it that is not 
925. The Bears 925, but this is not. But they only wanted to credit me $2 because I got this in a lot. They only wanted to credit me $2. That's not. Okay, you still want it. I just, I'm just letting you know, baby. So this little ring here, you cannot take it off. That is not. Okay. But I tested it for you. I'm honest. You're not going to, I'll tell you what, you will not ever in your life guaranteed find a more transparent, honest jewelry seller on this platform or any other platform. You won't. You won't find a more honest person than me. It's just, it's just not possible. I guess it probably is, but I pride myself. I have lost out on, on so much because I'm honest. Nikki. Oh, Nikki, baby, you are going to need a new, you're going to need a new sheet over this. Hey, Rhonda, what are you saying? You and JJ and Flamingos. Yeah, I'm not familiar with Flingos. Flamingos, but yeah, JJ. Jennifer is, yeah, she. that's who I got this from. This mother of pearl wrap. Yeah, she's honest too. Yeah. I try and buy, I try and buy from all of the auctions, guys. I try and buy something from all of the auctions, whether it's DVDs, um, jewelry. Like I bought a beautiful ring from Jennifer's daughter for seven dollars. It's just it's just um, silver tone. So, I, you know, I'll be destroying it very soon because I have acid skin, but it had amethyst stones through it. And, um, her daughter made them and was selling them for $7. I bought one. I try and support every single auction out there that I know of. If you guys do auctions, send me a link to your auction. Okay. Because I definitely love to support the people that support me. So if you guys are doing auctions, send me links to your auctions. So that I can pay it back and I can participate. Because every single auction out there, whether they buy from me or not, I try to support. Because at some point in time, they were probably a customer of mine. And I try and support all of the auctions. Regardless of what they sell. That's just... That I believe in that. What comes around goes around. You make the karma that you put out there. Okay. Isn't this pretty, you guys? I would buy it now this. But you know me, when I was cleaning this, I'm so damn rough. I broke the jump ring. It had a jump ring soldered right here. I broke the jump ring off. I try to. I do. I try to. All right, guys. This is a gorgeous pendant. Gorgeous. And I would be putting chains on stuff, but I don't have chains to put on it. This is just over half of an inch. But we'll just say it's a half an inch wide. And it is little over it's almost an inch in between three quarters and an inch and it is beautiful opal pendant and i'll put it on me so you can see look at that look at that opal i'll show you the back come on cameron there's the 925. Let me get it to flash for you.
It's really pretty. Okay. We're going to do buy it now 20 on this. Gorgeous, gorgeous pendant. Hi, Martin's Nest. It looks small on me, but it's really pretty. It's just all opal. I can't get it to do anything. But when it faces me, it flashes. It's gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. It just glows. When it faces me, it's just glowing. It's beautiful greens and blues. and Let me see if you can see it from afar. My chubby sausage fingers. It's not glowing. It's not firing. Well, then how am I supposed to sell it if you won't fire on camera? You little shithead. Okay, let me see if I can. It's just not firing normally. But it's so gorgeous. All right. I don't know how I'm going to get that to fire on camera. This is my little turtle with the black diamond. But he's he's already been taken. He's getting traded for goods or for services. Okay, I'm not going to show you those because I want to take that bail off and fix it. Okay. Okay. This pendant measures almost an inch long with the bail. It is five-eighths of an inch wide. So it's in between a half of a a half of an inch and three quarters of an inch. And we are going to do buy it now 18 on this. It's Mexican silver. It is a turquoise metal and lapis. Yeah. Kathy, Kathy, did you get your package from me yet? Because I forgot to put a free item in there for you. I promised you a free item, and then I forgot to put it in there. And it was already, Rhonda, the opal was buy it now 20 or 25. Did I do 20 or 25, you guys? No, I think it was buy it now 20. Buy it now 20. I forgot to put a free gift in there. So I still owe you a free gift. Okay, so yeah, this is turquoise and lapis. Buy it now, 18. 925 Mexican silver. Silver balls. Silver balls. 20. Okay, so the, the opal was buy it now 20. This is buy it now 18. Did you want the opal? Kathy's got this for 18. Kathy, why do you have something in here? Oh, that's your free thing. Do you want to see your free thing? Well, it's buy it now 20. Nobody's got it. I'll show it again. That's your free, free thing, Kathy.
Sterling Silver Cross. I gave you a little something like extra, extra because you're so generous and you've been so generous with me that I put a, a really nice pendant in there for you. And I've been wearing this, Kathy, and I always get so many compliments on it. And I've been wearing it with the with the the beads on it. And I was just talking at the beginning of the auction. I'm thinking I'm going to take the beads off. I'm just going to put it on a, a regular chain and wear it that way. But I always get so many compliments on it. Yeah, I did. And you can't do anything about it. Okay. So thank you for that, Kathy. Thank you. I appreciate that. Who's a trader? Nikki, I'm not a trader. Okay, this was buy it now. And I'm looking at this right now. I'm going to take a picture so you can see. Why? Because I can. I still haven't figured out this new phone yet. It doesn't do what I want it to do. Okay, do you see how Okay, do you see how that's firing? Okay. Now that's not going to show on the camera. Turtle Turtle Traders here. Hi TT. How are you? Thank you, honey. So this is buy it now 20. Now you saw the picture of it in my camera. It won't fire on camera, I mean on the video, but you saw it on the, the phone. So it does fire. Maybe I can do a video. Ooh. And then I'll show you the video. It's going to fall out of my thing, my hand. Focus. Okay. See it? See how sparkly and fiery? Did that help? Yeah, this is available. Nobody bought it. Buy it now, 20. I'm just trying to show it firing. It's 
it's much prettier in person. So if anybody wants that, that's 20. And I'm moving along. Okay. Now this. Turtle Trader, it's good to see you, baby. Turtle Trader. Turtle Trader. Had my ass in the air again, didn't I? I'm just going to, because this has not been cleaned, so I'm just going to polish it on my polishing cloth. This is a beautiful little pendant. Well, it's not little. Mm. All right. So this measures. An inch. Well, we'll just say an inch. It's a little over an inch long. And it is three quarters of an inch wide. And we'll do buy it now 18. And it's mother and child. Come on. And then there is the back. So it doesn't matter what side you get. You're still getting the... And Nancy is in it, 18. Good job, Nance. All right, <clears throat> I am going to, and you've got about 15 seconds to answer this question. I am going to give $25 credit towards my auction on jewelry. If you are able to answer this question correctly. Everyone is allowed to answer this question. Kathy, don't leave yet. Just wait. What is the name of all four of my pugs? Go. You have to name all four of my pugs. Congratulations on that, Nancy. Nancy says, I don't know. That doesn't get you partial credit. All right, we're going to do some earrings. <laughs> do you, Rhonda? I used to have four of them. I lost the last one a year ago. Yeah, TT. I will give you a $10 credit toward jewelry if you could name the last two that I had. This should not be difficult for some of you. The two boys. What were the names of the two boys? Some of you know this question.
Nobody? Well, they shed a lot, but depends if they're single coated or double coated. Okay, nobody gets it. So these earrings are three quarters of an inch. They're beautiful. These are posts. They have turquoise, lapis, red coral. And we're going to do buy it now 20 on these. And there's the top. So you can see. Yeah. There is the turquoise, the lapis, the coral, and then the rest of the way down, they're all lapis, or I mean, all turquoise. Buy it now 20 for these gorgeous, gorgeous earrings. These are gorgeous. And this is what they look like from the side. There's the inside. They say sterling. These are absolutely gorgeous. And they've got silver inlay throughout. And this is what they would look like. They are absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Anybody in at Buy It Now 20? You can't wear silver in your ears? Really, Rhonda? I can't wear anything in my ears. And Andrea has got them at 20. Those are the original backs on them too, Andrea. Nice snag. Good job. I swear, if I could wear earrings, you guys wouldn't get any earrings. You wouldn't get any earrings from me. At all. All right. I have got a... Kathy, yeah, you just missed some turquoise earrings. <clears throat> hey, Kathy, just out of curiosity, you missed the giveaway, but just out of curiosity, can you name, how many of the names of my four pugs can you name? Go ahead, try, Kathy. Name as many names of my four pugs as you can. Yeah, that's one. Scrappy. Which one was Scrappy? What color was Scrappy, Kathy? There were two of the dogs that were famous on my channel.
He was fawn. So he was tan or yellow. He looked kind of brindle, though. Inch and a quarter by three quarters. Yep, they were father and son. Scrappy and what was his dad's name? His dad was black. And I did that live. A goodbye to... Saying goodbye to... Thor. No. Dun, dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun. Dun, dun, da, 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 Dun, dun, dun. Yep, Rocky. <clears throat> you know what? You said you said um, the other two names were Precious and Lizzie or Fat Mama. I called her Fat Mama. I called her Mama. Um... Here's a picture of Scrappy. His face is all smooshed up. Well, we rescued Lizzie and Rocky, and then she was pregnant. And um, so we ended up with eight puppies. We kept two out of the eight puppies. Here's Lizzie. Oh, no, that's Rocky. Is that Lizzie? Why can't I tell the difference? No, that was Rocky shortly before he died. Here's Rocky. This is Rocky at the vet the week that we ended up putting him down. In fact, this may even be when we put him down. He had cancer really bad. Here's, this is 1986. This is Tom and I in our first apartment. We keep getting a reflection. Come on, focus, so people can see how beautiful I used to be. And look over here, right here. That is a glass picture of Motley Crue. Oh, thank you, Rhonda. Thank you, baby. I love you. This is... A picture of my husband and I at my son's first birthday. I'm trying to get it so you don't get reflection. That was in our first home. That was Clay's first birthday. Yeah, we were just kids. I was 21 there. I was 21 years old there.
This is a picture of my great nephew Elo and my granddaughter Belle. This was taken three years ago. Have, of course, haven't seen my granddaughter in three years. Why are we doing this? Because I want to. There's my granddaughter, all filthy, dirty, playing outside. How beautiful she is, guys. I raised that little munchkin. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. This is an old picture. This is probably five years old. Back before my hair, I, I let my hair go gray. This picture is on my my cover on my Facebook. Hi, Bethy. And you can't tell, but there's two black dogs on the end of this. These were all my dogs. So these are my four pugs in my pit bull. So see the two pugs on the end? So this is Rocky. Come on, damn it. Rocky, Lizzie, she's the one that had all the puppies. And then two of their puppies. This was Scrappy right here, the little one, and that was Precious. And then this is Momo, my pit bull. I lost the pit bull when Paige took off. So those were my five dogs. And I lost them all within a span of three years. This is one of my favorite pictures of my son. Which one's my son? It's him and his friend. Isn't that a gorgeous picture? His, look at his smile. I was cropping this picture. You can tell it's got lines in it. See the lines in it? I was cropping that picture. And me and my, you know, my, my technical skills. This was her running down the driveway with baby Thor. That was a stuffed Thor. We called him baby Thor. She had picked flowers for me. All right, that's enough pictures. Okay, one more. Belle always helped me plant my seeds. That's why I don't do gardens anymore. Because she always helped me plant my seeds. I grew everything from seed. And there she is picking one of her tomatoes. Because she always lived with me. 
always lived with me. I raised her. I was there for her first steps. I brought her home from the hospital. I potty trained her. Here's my favorite picture of me and Precious. She was my cuddle bunny. And I'm really giving good eyebrow in this. I had a good eyebrow. Mm. Oh, Kathy, you're welcome. Thanks for tolerating it. This is good eyebrow right here, isn't it? She was sleeping. I was just laying down and she was sleeping. <sighs> I miss them. There's Belle with Scrappy. Those two were never far away from each other. Belle had pink, pink, bright pink hair. And it was it was in the process of washing out when this was taken. This was shortly after this was shortly before she was taken from me. Before she was stolen. <laughs> um Belle colored my face with chalk. That's actually a video. This was Christmas a couple years back. Two years ago, I think. See, my husband doesn't look Asian. He looks Hispanic. And... This was Precious and Scrappy sharing a bone. They wouldn't fight over it, but they shared it. <laughs> I wasn't supposed, we weren't supposed to kiss Belle. That was her mother's rules. We weren't allowed to kiss Belle. But I didn't give a shit. This was Christmas one year. I kissed her anyway. I'm raising your kid. You can kiss my ass. And your stupid fucking rules. This is the day we lost Belle. The only reason I have pictures is because I worked at the hospital. I had taken her in because she had 105 fever. The only reason I have pictures of this is because I worked there. But that's her getting ready to go to x-ray. And it was that day when we got home in Bell Page was telling me, you're a terrible grandmother. She's going to die because of you. You should have made them give her a flu swab. Blah, 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 blah. That's how it all started. Here's her getting chest x-ray. I had to call in sick that day because Paige wouldn't leave work. Paige wouldn't leave work, so I had to call in sick and spend all day in emergency with her where I worked. Yeah, but it was just a virus. She got over it. Okay. That was a nice break. Here we go. So we're going to do buy it now 15 on this. This is not a garnet. It is just glass. It could be a different a different gem that doesn't test on the gem tester. But I doubt it. I just think it's I just think it's glass. But 
Well, let's see. She left or she was taken at five. Because in Michigan, grandparents don't have rights, even if you've raised the child. Um, and she'll be nine in October. Okay, so this is a cross with marcasites. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful little cross. It's just the glass stone in there. And we will do buy it now 15 on this. When I moved her and her mom into the um, the apartment that they lived in, you had to have a code to get into the building. Belle jumped into the U-Haul and locked the doors and said, let's go, Nana. Mom's going to take me away from you, and I'm never going to see you again. Mom says, you and Papa don't love me, and I know that's not true. I know you love me, and she says, we're going away, and I'm never going to see you again. Let's go. Take me away from her, Nana. I want to stay living with you, and I, of course, you know, I couldn't do that, and, uh, and, you know, I just told her, I said, if Mama takes you away from us, Belle, just know that we will always love you. Papa and I and, and Gigi and Aunt Cindy and Uncle Clay and Uncle Jimmy and Zachy, we will all love you. We will always, always, always all love you. But, you know, my daughter was telling terrible, terrible things about me and Tom. Okay, so do we have a bite now on this? For 15, this is inch and a hand or inch and a quarter by almost an inch wide. Anybody interested in that for 15? Buy it now. All right, let me put that back in its little baggie. You guys want some more hoops? I've got I got quite a bit of hoops. She's almost nine. Someday when she's old enough to drive. Um, and we've tried. We tried going to the apartment. And, you know, they'd never respond. And, you know, she's moved now. And she sold the pit bull. She could have she could have let us have the pit bull, but she sold him to somebody out of state. She wanted him far away where we would never see him again. And that's what she said. But she said, Mom, if you divorce dad, you can see Belle. You can see Belle because she, she was mad at her dad because when she went off on me saying you're a terrible grandmother and if she dies, it's on you and blah, 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 blah. And, um, you know, they moved out that night because Tom finally, because you couldn't raise your voice to Paige. You couldn't talk to Paige had all these rules. You couldn't discipline Belle. And, you know, and we went, we went by all of Paige's rules because Paige was the mother. And um, Tom said, how dare you talk to your mother like that? And there was an incident of Paige pushing me. She pushed me into the China cabinet and, um, uh, You know, and that was kind of the last straw for, for Tom. And he raised his voice to her, and he, he was yelling at her. How dare you treat your mother like this? How about thanking your mother for calling in sick and then going to her work and sitting with your daughter for six hours in emergency, taking care of your daughter, going and getting her medication after work? How about, you know, thanks, Mom. Not, you know, if she dies, it's on you, and blah, 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 and you know, well, she should call in sick. That's her granddaughter. It's her responsibility to take care of her. And um, so it is what it is. We put up with Paige so we wouldn't lose Belle. And we ended up losing her anyway. All right. These hoops are one inch by three quarters of an inch. 
These are really, really cute hoops. And we're going to do buy it now 13 on these. I'm just going to hold them up because they are really cute. They've got a lot of detail to them. And I'm going to stop talking about her. There's the inside. Sterling silver. Oh, thanks, Nancy. Hopefully that's all I have to go through for is three years. Because I'm already at three years. Buy it now 12 on these. Or did I say 13? Okay, Nikki's got them. Nikki, they're really cute. They're super cute. Thank you, Nikki. Yeah, the kids on the day that they brought the kid brought Bell home from the hospital, they dropped me and Bell off because they were living with us. And I took Bell into the house when she first came home for the first time. And little did I know. That I would to be taking care of her for five years. All right. Okay. We're going to do buy it now. 18 on these. These are gorgeous stud earrings. And these are measuring... Mm, Three-eighths of an inch. So between half an inch and a quarter of an inch. These are so gorgeous. They are red coral. Red coral. Buy it now, 18. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. We have one cat whose name is Shiro. My husband named him after... My husband was just in a really bad place after his mother died about eight or nine years ago now. And Vernon's got him for 18. I thought she would. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, and the kids had brought home... Look at that picture of Mike Tyson. Where's my other t-shirt, Mike? That's when he was like 18. He was in ultimate shape right there. Killing machine. Do you remember the story where I told you the girl I met at the bus station gave me that gummy and it was an edible? Do you remember that story, you guys? Oh, good. This is the girl that gave me the edible and didn't tell me it was an edible. There she is. That's the girl I met in the train station that gave me the edible. I didn't realize I had her picture. Oh, and here's the here's Cody. His name is Cody. He was my he sat next to me on the plane going to Las Vegas for eBay Open 2018 and I never fl I'd only flown once before with my husband 29 years prior. Right? And total stranger 
he was calling me mama because I introduced myself. He was calling me mama. And when we, we were just like this and he was patting my hand going, mama, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay, mama. It's going to be okay. Because I was crying and I was really nervous. And, and I like video, I had it live. I was videotaping, you know, live when we took off. And when we took off, I grabbed a hold of his thigh. My hand just instinctively went right to his thigh. Grabbed a hold of his thigh. Hip flip and daddy was just like, sounds like something you would do. He was literally like, sounds like something you would do. All right, I've got a pendant. I don't know if I slept for two days, but I slept all the way home. All right, guys. This is Dolly. What did this, if you're still here, what did this cross test for gold? Was it, I think it was 14 karat gold. Or was it 18 karat gold? I can't remember. Was it 14 or 18? It's too little too bright to be 10. I'm going to say 14. Okay, but guys, I am going to do, buy it now, $50. I can't believe I'm going to do $50. Because that's freaking cheap. This cross, as I said, has gold in it. And it's got 13 diamonds. And they're not little tiny diamonds. It's one and a half inches long. And it's almost an inch wide. And I'm going to show you the back first. Because there's a rivet everywhere that there is a diamond. So here's the back. It is, surprisingly enough, it's an open back. There are no marks except for that right there. And then initials. Let me see what the initials are. I swear it says 518, but 14 carats 585, 10 carat is 417, and I can't see. I swear it's 518. So I don't know what that means. But I tested it. So here we go. Oh, so on the back. Focus, baby. So you can see these like little dots, right? Where the stones are placed. So you can see where every one of those is, there's a diamond there. Now, what's different about this, and I had to look really, really close. Um, the diamonds aren't small. You can see the diamonds, but here's what makes this different. And again, this is Buy It Now 50. Is, do you see where the gold is? Hang on, I got it get myself straight holy effing shit Kathy do you sew do you sew Kathy all right so look at the gold okay do you see the gold 
Do you see? Damn it. Focus on where the camera is. Do you see there? Those are yellow diamonds, guys. First of all, yellow diamonds are rare. Okay? But those are yellow diamonds. So you can see the diamonds all the way down. And there is white diamonds in with the silver. And then on the arms, there's yellow diamonds. And then on the end where there's ster sterling silver is white diamonds. And the ends are sterling silver. Damn, this is killing me. So... Doesn't matter how many breaks I take. My shoulders. So, do you see down the... I just have to suffer. So, you see down the... Um, the bottom part of this cross. Do you see the, the yellow diamonds? There's... Three or four. But you can see them. There's three right there. You can see up close. You can see the diamonds. They're not diamond chips. They're diamonds. And then you can see the diamond right there at the bottom. Each tip has that diamond in it. And then there's yellow diamonds. So you're getting 13 diamonds in this. And there's... Diamonds in the end on the on the crisscross. But this is a really beautiful piece. The only thing that I wish on this cross is that it had either a flat back or they had put something over it. And I think the reason they didn't just just stay off my grass, guys. Turn around. Don't turn around on my oh, don't turn around on my grass. Jeez. Rude. Is that it had a back on it. And the only reason I can I can think that they didn't put a back on it is because there's so many diamonds in it. Because you can see the, you know, every spot where there's a diamond in the back. But because of the number of diamonds because you've got 14 karat gold there. Maybe you can't see up close it's gold. Now can you tell it's gold? It's gorgeous. And Nancy's in at 50. Thank you, Nancy. It's gorgeous. Yellow diamonds. I didn't realize yellow diamonds were as rare as what they are until I researched them. I was researching colored diamonds because my sister wants a chocolate diamond. And um, so I was trying to see what made a chocolate diamond chocolate. And then I realized how rare this is going to be here for a week, I bet. Um. It was talking about yellow diamonds and how rare they are. Now, I asked 50 for this. And I was going to do an auction starting at 75 on this. But it's Mother's Day this weekend. So, I just did 50. So, thank you on that, Nancy. It is gorgeous, my love. I was going to keep it. I was going to keep it. But you got to pay the tax, man. And we took a loan off one of our state farm policies like 15, 16 years ago when the kids were little. And well, when they were kids and um, they called in their loan. We have to pay $1,300 back Monday, $1,300. So there's that. So congratulations, Nancy. All right, now, Nancy, I want you to be completely honest with me. You are not going to offend me one little bit, okay? 
and you know I'm on I'm honest as shit. So, you know, are you gonna flip this or is this for you? You, if you're flipping it, you can tell me. You are not going to offend me. Because you could probably take it to a pawn shop and make money on it. You're not a flipper? Well, thank you very much, Nancy. I'm, you know, if it was going to go to somebody, I'm glad it went to an OG. So thank you for that. Okay, what do you guys want to do? Because... I have got earrings. I've got Celtic earrings. I've got, um, I have a pair of amber earrings, but I'm going to save those because I'm going to call Sharon tonight or today or whatever. And I'm going to show her the two amber rings I have and the amber earrings I have. Because remember when I told you I would private shop for you? Well, only a couple people reached out to me, told me what they were looking for and uh, Sharon was one of them, and I just got those today, and I haven't shown the amber earrings yet, so I'm going to offer those to her first, and then if she doesn't, you know, what she doesn't take, or if she doesn't take anything, or whatever, I'll bring those back to you guys on next Saturday. So I've got a ton of pendants, you guys. Of course, I can't do chains with them, but I've got a really cute Mother of Pearl Mom pendant with um, gold over silver. Uh, I do have a chain for that. Gold over silver um, bales on that one, and I can put a chain on that if anybody's interested in that. But I've got some really cute pendants. I've got a turquoise pendant. I have a Amethyst pendant. I've got that white onyx pendant that's gorgeous. I have got a Mother Mary pendant. Um, you know, a Catholic pendant that's so beautiful and ornate and has all the decorations on the back. That's heavy. I've got that. If anybody's interested in that. I've got a silver pendant with uh, jade in it. I've got a silver pendant with uh, blue sapphire in it. I've got some pendants with with hearts. I've got a heart locket with mother of pearl and a cross. I've got a heart locket with a cross um, inside it. I have a diamond cross. Oh, Nancy, I freaking forgot to go to the rock store. You know what I would do, Nancy? I will do this for you. I will. I have two pieces of Moldavite. I will send you this piece of Moldavite. Sometimes it's good to have that little chub, but it's getting smaller. I will send you this piece of Moldavite for $10 if you want it. Because I bought two pieces. I'll keep one piece. And you can keep one piece. Do you want to do that? You won't get it any cheaper than that anywhere else. Because if I go to the rock store. I'm going to be paying up for it. I can send you. My personal Moldavite. I don't know why I like to rub it on my face. I'll clean it off. I'll clean it off. You don't have to take it. I can go and get some. Okay, Nancy. I'll tell you what. I really do believe it. It works. And it has worked. Uh, it has worked wonderful with me. Things have been 
things that I've really, really wanted. I mean, we've had problems that have surfaced, like this state farm that I've had to take care of. Um, but in general, it's made a, a big difference in my in my marriage and how I handle my husband and what what affects me and doesn't affect me, what I allow to affect me. No, let me look back. Laughing my fucking ass off. That comment. Looking for critters. I'm sorry about my 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 mouth. That's awesome. Love for babies, but I meant critter jewelry. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I was looking for a picture of my cat too, and I got sidetracked. Oh, my freaking God! Sorry, Lord. Here's me at eBay open pictures of me with a whole bunch of people. Do you guys want to see those? That's up to you guys. There's me and Lindy. Hung out with her for a day. Here, here's, here's the live of me. Oh, here's precious. That was before she got sick. Okay, hang on. I'm going to find a picture of my kitty because he's the only one I got left and I never showed a picture of him. There's a picture of me in the car getting ready to go see Kitty and Vicky. Come on, kitty, kitty. Where are you? Playing his ex-girlfriend. Me and Jesus. There he is. He is part Tomcat, whatever that is, and part Siamese. That's my kitty. Okay. That's a good deal for that Moldavite, Nancy. I'll try and get down to the rock store this week and price them out. Okay. Let's do, let's do these hoops because they're flipping cute. And then let's do, we'll do these hoops. Yeah, that was funny. Okay, let's do these. Let's do these because I'll do them super fast. I'll just go through them because I got some big fat hoops and some regular hoops and some. Okay, because we're gonna we're gonna do this fast, guys. Boom, 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 boom. Because I've got a little collection of hoops here. So these are three quarters of an inch hoops. These are textured. They, they're they actually like a filigree because they've got, you know, the holes in them. And I will do buy it now 12 on these. Why does that look like it's got something on it? Does this look like it's got something on it? Verna's got them. Nope. Maybe it was just my skin. Right there. Does it look like there's something red in there? Right there. Oh. 
Okay, I'm not I'm not like others. Oh, Verna bought it. I'm going to throw in the envelope and let Verna handle it. I'll let Verna deal with it. No, I'm not like that. <sighs> Because I love you guys too much. It's right here. And believe it or not, yes, this is how I make my money. But I also, yep, it was red. Make my money out of trust. And I take that seriously. Because I swear, I feel like with you, because I have your trust, I could describe jewelry to you, and you guys would buy it, because you trust me. There was a little red something in there, like a little fuzz. And right there... Okay, give me just a second, you guys. Just a second. Why am, why am I not using my light, right? Give me a minute. I love you guys. Oh, yeah. What's in there? It's just coming right off now that I can see it. See, the only thing this got cleaned with was everything gets a a splat, you know, a, a flashback. And a dry off. It gets a... Uh, disinfectant spray and then it gets cleaned with never go so I don't know what red would have got in here well I wouldn't have never dulled these because they're shiny and I don't mind making you guys wait because I'm anal, and I don't want to forget. All right. Oopsies. There's another little spot. So I don't know what this little fuzz is. It's like somebody got, like, yarn or something caught in here. I mean, it's nothing gross. All right. Verna, you are good, my doll. But I'm going to give it an alcohol spray anyway. There's a designer bag here. And it says, Chanel. Nine two five R J. Okay, where's the other one? Still here. I'm going to give this one a spray as well. I need water. Do you guys, are you guys saying any water? Looking thick and bubbly. All right, Verna. Thank you, baby. These are nice and wet right now. Um, Twelve dollars.
not Figaro, filigree. I bought this off of an auction. And this had a cork, the original cork. And it fit down in here and to keep it secure, you know. But I, every time I'd wash the cork, like suds and stuff, would could never get the suds. And when you pulled it, it, it constantly had something coming out of the, the cork. So, oh, yeah, it's fingerprint. It's thumbprint. It's a thumbprint pattern. See? Which I have some amber-colored Indiana glass plates and saucers or plates and cups that have this th this thumbprint pattern. You guys, people make fun of me for this, but I bought it to help a fellow reseller. And um, it just pour. It's only thirty-two ounces. I drink like four things of these a day, but. Something about pouring my water from this makes me feel beautiful. Something about this pitcher and pouring my water from it. But if any, you know what? If anybody wanted it, I would sell it for $10 plus shipping. I would. Mm. If you want it. You can have it with that with that lid. You you might want to put a silicone stopper around it. I just haven't looked for them yet. Ten dollars plus shipping. It'll probably cost. Well, me shipping it, it'd probably cost eight or nine. But I could ship your jewelry with it too. Yeah, sure. I'm still on. All right, guys. So these are gold over silver. They're brighter gold. Okay. But um, they have real gemstones in them. Okay, these are these look like twenty four karat. Now, I can't find anywhere on here where like it says, you know, like a like a straight twenty four or whatever. So it's gold over. It's P A J. 925 china and normally if it is straight gold it's going to say 925 and then right next to it it'll say 14k 18k or whatever <clears throat> cheryl no it it wouldn't be because um i don't know i'd have to let you know because i'll let you know what shipping would be on it Tonight after the auction, I'll like package your stuff up and see how much it would cost to send to you. Subtract what you've already paid and we'll see. Because I need a bigger one. I need like a 64 ounce one. Okay, I'm going to show these to you first. And these have this kind of closure. Guys, and I know they've got all of these gems in them, but I'm, I'm just going to do buy it now 15. Because they're gold over. So all my resellers out there. I I just can't. I just can't list jewelry on eBay. I just can't do it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go again. What's my business? Man. Okay. So, these are all authentic gems. So, we've got garnet. Crap, I can't remember what that is. If that's iolite, I'll test it. That is topaz. I'm going to test it now. You guys want to see me test it?
Okay, so this is going to be garnet. And you see it's in the garnet. Well, it's not focusing, is it? Okay, so see this right here? See this tip? You can see the tip. There's the tip. It moves. See how it moves? So that's why you hear a beep. So this is garnet. You all trust me. I don't know why I feel the need to do to do this. Garnet. I'm thinking this is iolite. Quartz, amethyst, citrine. So this must be quartz. Or because it's purple. It's purple. So that's an amethyst. This should be blue topaz. Topaz. This should be citrine. Or it could be quartz. Yep, citrine. They're in the same thing. Quartz, amethyst, citrine. See right there, middle of the black. Okay, this one... I don't know what this one is. So that is quartz. Or it could be citrine. No, it's green. That's peridot. I'm surprised that didn't hit in the in the uh, tourmaline. And then this one should be cor um, garnet. And there it is in the garnet. This is garnet, tourmaline, and iolite. And then you have to go by... See, anytime that the needle hits metal, it's going to beep. And that's why you hear me beep all the time. Because this needle moves. And my hands don't stay still. See how it, it, it goes right off of the stone sometimes? And there's garnet. Even though it, it says glass, it's past the glass, it's in the garnet. So that's how we test. And then if you have a diamond, like I'll show you. It's my auction. I can do it if I want to. Do it if I want to. Do it if I want to. There's nothing you can do about it. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, look what I did. I dropped it like four inches and it cracked my, my casing right there. Damn it. That's okay. It still works just fine. There is an extra super sensitive calibrator in here that you should only mess with this is how you calibrate it but you should only mess with the other one if you know what you're talking about okay so if it's diamond it'll go over here so are we ready now you're going to hear a lot of beeps here guys because i got to get right on the diamond i'm going to hold it like this can you see it? It'll go all the way over here. See that? Yellow diamond. That's metal. Diamond.
If it hits metal, it's going to go over to diamond. Shit. It's hard for me to hit the freaking diamond. My needle moves. When the diamonds are pronged, of course, they're pronged by metal. Okay, so that one we're going to skip. Let's do a white diamond. Here's another yellow diamond. Right over there. Here's another yellow diamond. When you hear the beep, it's because I'm hitting metal. Metal will go over there. Can you still see it? Diamond. Let's check a white diamond. Let's do another white diamond. Okay. Woo, woo, woo. Can I get a super chat for that? Can I get a super chat for that, man? My little click shot there. Oh, Verna, you're welcome, honey. And, you know, most people would be like, yeah, 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 yeah. I know because I hear from them. And you know what I say? Just don't come to my auctions then. Don't come to my auctions if it's if it's too much other things and, and not enough auction for you. So thank you, Nancy, for letting us use your beautiful... But now you know they're diamonds. And that's how you test. So. I am going to put a video out about it. But who knows when. So okay. I did buy it now 15. For these. If anybody was interested. Or if anybody wanted to flip them. They are an inch and a quarter by an inch and a quarter they are tested 925 you'll never see where i tested them though if anybody's interested in those at 15. they are very very pretty if you are into yellow gold and this is how they sit on the ear with the the gems out Oh, Nancy was in? Okay, thanks, Nancy. Sorry about that, Nancy's like, they're mine, they're mine. Thank you, baby. All right. They're beautiful. Again, um, earrings I would have kept if I could keep them. Okay, now these are all going to be buy it nows. Everything's buy it nows. Some of these hoops are very vintage. Some of these hoops are not. But everything's been verified. You know I keep everything in baggies now. And that storage system is working so well. Congratulations on those, Nancy. Next week won't be by it now because I'll have a lot of new stuff, guys. Yeah, it, I'm keeping all my inventory all together. Yeah, I'm having muscle spasms in my right foot. I'm having muscle spasms in my left hand today. And uh, both my shoulders are killing me because of Wednesday's auction on Gianna's channel. But thank you to everybody from my channel that went over to that or you know maybe you you always go over there anyway okay <clears throat> these hoops these are vintage hoops these have the original backs i do believe the backs are 925 also and these measure three quarters of an inch and i'm just going to use my little pinky here or my big pinky here's the backs 
So you're getting original backs. But here are the hoops. And I'm going to do buy it now 12 on these. Here's what the hoop looks like from the back. That's the back. Here's the, the front, how it hangs. You're welcome, Nancy. They kind of curve up. So they're, they're concave and then the edges come up. Here's the inside. They're in really nice shape. I think that says SY. I don't know why I hang this up and then have to stretch my sore arm. Um, oh, no, it says 925. That's upside down. Yep, just says 925. If anybody's interested in these, these are um, like the 80s. Buy it now, 12, Andrea. They are half of an inch thick or wide. They're really cute. Really super cute. They would look cute on. I always hold down here because my hole's way up here. Andrea's got them at 12. Thanks for helping, Nancy. Oh, no, wait. You're just telling her. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kathy, Cheryl was dumbfounded, like dumbfounded about the pendant slash brooch um, amber butterfly that you bought and gave to her. She says, yeah, you are a very special woman. Except, um, I'm sorry, but her exact words to me the other day, that's not what she said about you. Her words about you were, I don't know what it is with that woman. She is so freaking generous. But I think she said fucking. Yeah, I think she said fucking. She is so fucking generous. I don't know how she is such a good person. And then she raves about that butterfly, which I knew that it was gorgeous. But. Your generosity, Kathy, is just incredible. And I know exactly what you do and why you do it, Kathy. You're, you look at your YouTube income as a gift. And your strong belief in the Lord, you feel like you have to share that. That that should not just be yours, it, it should be shared. And that is why... You are so generous with people because you feel guilty about the YouTube income that you earn because everything that you pull out of the dumpsters, you are doing it to help other people because your reactions are score for the pantry, score for the, the battered women's shelter, score for this, score for that. And, um, Oh, yes, you would. You would, too. You would say fucking. I would say it. And that's that's why you do it, Kathy. I know that's why you do it. You'll probably never admit to it. But I know exactly that's why you do it. Because you and I, oh, you say exactly. Yes, exactly. Okay, so you are admitting to it. Um, because you would be dumpster diving anyway. You would be giving these comforters, these UGG comforters, to the women's shelter anyway. You would be giving. Because because yes you have disabilities. But you feel like. Even though you have those. The fact that you can stay home. Um, and you can live your life. And be provided for. And provide for yourself. I should say. Um, you feel that that's a blessing. In and of itself. And the money you make off of YouTube. Should be used and given to others. And 
that is what you feel that it should be it should be for and that's what the lord would want and that's why you do it Cheryl, you've already paid that forward. I'm going to tell you guys something right now. And Cheryl, don't get all pissy with me about this. Okay. Um, Kathy, your heart is so big. There are things that you pick up that I pray you keep for yourself. Because everything that you do, you do it for other people. And you feel, yes... I am technically disabled, but I, I feel fortunate that I'm, I'm provided, this country provides for me. I provide for myself. Because some of us are disabled and, you know, we don't get that. Um, and so everything else, I mean, you're, you're just so damn grateful for that. Everything else, you know. Here you're doing you're doing this to provide for others, and then you're making money on top of it, and you want that to be shared, and that is just what makes you. And then to take <clears throat> take it home and <clears throat> clean it off, and the work that you put into it, Kathy, you know it is exactly what the lord wants in a warrior and i know that's why you do it and you should be commended for it and you know what you're gonna get are you dumpster diving sweetie oh you're just gonna go pick up your pot okay yeah the house across the street turned into a pot house not a meth house <clears throat> Because they were able to get a license to grow. So they're technically not breaking the law. <clears throat> Kathy's going to get a special song. No super chat required. Okay. Was anybody interested in these for 12? Buy it now 12. Before I put them away. I love you too, Kathy. Okay. <clears throat> Lord, Lord Almighty, yes, my Lord, you have given this earth a living angel named Kathy. Oh, Lord, she works hard for you. She goes through it too. No matter rain or shine, no matter pain, she will work for you. <clears throat> she gives to the rich and poor. She gives to those who don't know more. They don't have food to eat, but because of Kathy, they will eat. Oh, Lord, I thank thee for Kathy, oh, Lord. She is a walking angel. Walking angel on earth. That made absolutely no sense with the melody, but the words were true. So that is for you, Kathy, because you are a walking angel. Now we're going to sell some jewelry. All about me right now. All about me. All about me. You know, I'm just kidding when I say that. I go on other people's channels and I'll go, all about me, all about me. I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow, guys, and it's going to be short. Okay. All right. So, these are one inch and one eighth. They have the same kind of closure. 
These are really cool, you guys. I'm going to do buy it now, 12 on these. Kathy is an angel. I just sing about it. Oh, my gosh. They are, um, they've got that rope look to them, that twisted, textured to them. They're an inch and an eighth. The, there's the 925 on the ear hooks right there. Do I have anybody coming in? Buy it now, 12 for these. Of course, they'd look like this on me. No interest on these? These are really cute, you guys. These almost give the effect of black in between the little lines. Buy it now, 12. Five. Oh, see the little the little ends there. These aren't open; they're closed. And those are sterling silver too. So everything I show you is sterling silver. Okay, we'll put those away. <clears throat> Kathy, you are to me. An angel on earth. All right, guys. These are hoops. Okay. These are vintage. Here's the hook. Just like that. That wasn't a fart. That was my leather chair. Okay. Actually, this just needs to be bent. Hang on. Okay, so this is how it, it goes just like, you know, any other one, but it's just a lot wider. And you just push it down like that, but look how wide these are. And all these hoops are going to be by now 12. Hi, Manji. We're doing buy it nows right now. So this measures an inch and a quarter, just about an inch and an eighth. Here's the other one. So this is what they look like on my thumb. And I'll give you a width on them. And Vern has got them at 12. They are 3 eighths of an inch. You're going to like these, Verna. Verna, I have a picture of you in my head. I mean, and I see your picture on here. But I want you to send me an email of you wearing some of the jewelry. Did I miss something? No nope, hoops filigree. I just didn't put your envelope away. And then we're going to say hoops 12. All right. These hoops measure. These are hollow. These measure one inch, just a little bit over an inch. Not even an eighth of an inch off. And they are post. I think those are the original. Maybe not. No, those I think I put on. And here's what this post or this hoop looks like. It is hollow. Yes, that's acid on my fingers. So these are vintage as well. 
I'm going to call you. I might call you today. Are we face? Are we friends on Facebook? I'm going to call you because you deserve a call from me. Not that I'm anything special. But one thing's for damn sure. I deserve a call to you. All right, guys. Buy it now. 12 for these. They are vintage. They're classic. They're hollow. So they're super light. They're an inch and a quarter. About. Right now, everything I'm showing right now is buy it now 12, Manji. I'll tell you if it changes. So these are buy it now 12. Manji's got them at 12. Manji, um, Edna uh, is and um, in uh, Gianna or whoever you bought from on Wednesday's auction, they're sending it to me. And I um, am going to send it to you with all of your stuff from me. Instead of them charging you to ship international, you know, individually. Like, you know, Gianna to charge you and Edna to charge you and then I've charged you. I told them to send it to me and I would send it to you. So they may have charged you domestic shipping. Okay, but that is because I told them to send it to me because there's there's no reason to for you to pay all that extra shipping. You need a new label, but I can't do that yet. So we're going to do this because I still have. We're going to go up here. Okay, so today's 5-8. Okay. Oops. And those are hollow. Hi, Paula. How are you, baby girl? We're doing buy it nows now. You guys, I love that, you know, I would love to get up here and do this, boom, this, boom, thank you, this, boom, thank you, this, boom, thank you. But I just, I am, I'm too personable for that. And I think I would, I would seem insensible or insensitive. I don't know. If you guys want that, no talking and just auction, tell me. If you would like me to do auctions, I, and I mean this seriously, I want your honest opinion. And there's 21 people, so give me your honest opinion. Would you, do you like my auctions the way I do them? Sometimes I go off on a rampant and talks, and you know, sometimes I get veered away from the auction, and that's what some people like. If you would rather me just do auction, 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 uh, trivia, Talk, 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 talk. Auction, 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 auction. Um, if you would rather I do that, you want talking, Nikki? I want you to put a one in the chat. Okay? If you want more auction, less talking, put a one in the chat. I'm not going to get mad at you. Oh, my gee. I love you so much. I saw that your picture of your, your gorgeous son. And I just want to climb through the the computer and hug you every time I see that. <clears throat> Rhonda, what does two mean? Nancy, you like buy it now? <clears throat> These are things that I've had for a while. Um, and every so, so often I will do buy it nows. Sometimes Saturdays are nothing but buy it nows. Oh, thank you, Brenda. I didn't even know you were here. Why didn't you say hi, Brenda? She's excuse me, it's time for me to feel beautiful again. 
Oh, thank you, Rhonda. You guys, I just love you. Because some people tell me I won't give you names. I've heard from other jewelry people that, you know, and I know all the jewelry people. And I talk to all the jewelry people um, who have told me many times you need to keep your mouth shut and just do your auction. You need to just keep your mouth shut and just do your auction. And I said, well, <clears throat> I can't guarantee that. So you might not want to come to my auctions anymore. <laughs> That's what I said. You might not want to come to my auctions anymore. That's what I said. I don't tell you how to do your auctions. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. I really do. Because Hi, Crystal. How long have you been here, Crystal? I sent your stuff. Did you get it? Oh, my G. I love you so much. All right, you guys. These next hoops. And this is a little bit loose. So let me just... Because you know I can't let it go. Let me just fix this just a minute. Okay, guys? You know I can't just let it go. Sometimes I break jewelry trying to fix it. Well, I appreciate that, darling. I really do. And I love you guys, too. And sometimes I get a little pissy with people trying to tell me how to do my channel. It's like, you know what? And then I had somebody tell me, how dare I do cards? And I just broke this fucking thing. Told you I break jewelry trying to fix it. But here's the thing. It still works. Yeah, it still works. Works a little too well. Okay, so here I'm going to show this to you. So, okay, you see how it's got the, the little thing right there with the little ball? Well, this is what I did trying to fix it. Because it didn't clasp in there very good. So I was pushing it together. And I pushed it together too far. And I broke the little ball off. But look. It still clicks in there. It still clicks in there. See? And it still works. So, I'm still going to sell it. But I'm going to sell it cheaper. So, these are freaking sweet. Even though I broke that. Let me see how this one works. Maybe I can break this one too. See, and I did the same fucking thing. Pardon my French. I'm so sorry. I'm just... That pain is just getting me today, guys. It is just getting me today. And part of it's because yesterday, I took the day off yesterday. I didn't do any business yesterday, guys. Do you know the last time I took an entire day off? Like, it's been months. Like, literally months. So, let me do that the right way and see if I can not break it. See, I just have this thing where everything must be perfect for you guys. And I don't know why I have that because I'm selling shit that's used. 
That's perfect. Okay. <clears throat> so here they are. <clears throat> I will do. Did I say buy it now what? Okay, I'm going to do buy it now five on these. And these are over an inch. Only because I broke the ball off. They're marcasites. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? I bought these. Hang on. Hang on. I don't think I can sell these because I bought these to put in a ring. For that, mar I bought them for the marcasite. Hang on. Give me just a second, guys. Hey, look. I can do a buy it now 10 on this. These sell really, really good online. I can't remember what you call them. Hang on, Manji. If I sell it, I'll sell it to you. Do you hear that? These are called something. It's a yin-yang. That is sterling silver, I believe. Because I know I tested it. I'm pretty sure that's sterling silver. I've already done my mom time. If, okay, Manji wants that for 10. Oh, no, Nikki was first. You know Nikki these sell. Okay, Nikki had that first. Sorry, Manji, I love you. If I ever find a, a coral or another uh, piece of turquoise for that, I'll be selling that. Hang on, let me find my ring. Here's... The ring that was totally flat when I got it. And I torched and the the other turquoise came out. This was a tor this was a this was a piece of jewelry that I want to see if I can just bring back to life. I want to practice my skills on it. Hang on, guys. I gotta look for this ring. Because it's freaking gorgeous. It's right here. No, it doesn't need a square. One of these needs a square. Marcusite. Isn't this gorgeous, guys? Isn't that gorgeous? But it's missing a marcasite right there. And a couple little marcasites. And a marcasite there. So as soon as I find those, then I will be fixing that and then putting that up for sale. And then I gotta find a piece of turquoise or coral or something to go in there. You guys have no idea. I've got this whole thing full plus more of jewelry that I need that are projects. So when I get to soldering and stuff, I'll be... Oh, there's my lapis. My lapis pendant with the gold on the inside. But I don't think... i got to test this for gold. And I gotta see what it says. Isn't that pretty? I gotta see what it says. Let me find this ring, guys. Give me just a... What's wrong with this? Oh, it has a crack. See, you guys can't wait to get a hold of that, can you? But it's got a cracked thing right here, and I have to solder it. See? Hang on. Oh, here's that really expensive. I got to do research on this and then I'll be selling you this. Because that's gold. Hang on, guys. And then here's a ring that's nothing but marcasites. And that's got square marcasites, too. Oh, I know I can, honey. I just would rather. Because sometimes I get marcasite jewelry and it's missing stuff. Man, look at this turquoise bracelet I have. I just have to find a turquoise to put in it. I'm missing two turquoise. I want to find different colored turquoise. Isn't that gorgeous? I got to find this ring, though. It's going to bother me if I don't find it. I am going to start my journey into fixing all this stuff. I just talked to Sandy the other day. And there's another beautiful ring. Look at that.
that needs the it needs to be soldered back down. It broke one of the the things. I had to find this ring or it's gonna bother me. And then this was my father-in-law's. That's a sapphire, but it's missing a prong. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And I think that's probably why. See, look at this. I bought this like this. Right? Just to see if I could do something with it. Bye, Verna. Love you. I scared Verna away. Here it is. It's an onyx ring. And and I think that marcasite will do well. And I think this marcasite is too big. This Mercosite's definitely too big. Okay. It is yours, Manji. They're yours. Nikki, this is yours. Okay, so this is this is the ring I have that needs the Mercosite. See the Mercosite? But isn't that a gorgeous ring, especially after I polish it up? Okay. So these are yours, Manji. You know what? I'm going to show you this piece of amber. I'm going to, I'm going to, let me show it to Sharon first. Because, um, it's got a butt to it. All right. Where's the other earring? Did I shove it in here? Shit the bed. Okay. I'll get it out. I'll get it out, Manji, because I got to go through that later mm -hmm. anyway. And don't forget about this Cornelian. Carnelian. I have to solder this right there. See where that's broken? Right there. I've got to solder that. And then that can be your guys's. Okay, Manji, $10. Okay. Oh, five dollars. Okay. All right. Did I already do these ones? Or did somebody already buy these? This is Nikki. For ten. What do you call that, Nikki? I'm going to call it a ring ball. Okay. Did I already do these ones? These ones are nine-tenths of an inch. I don't think I did. And these are qu quarter of an inch wide. These do not have the original. Oh, you didn't see the ball? Some bras from Shaper Mint. Have any of you brought thought from them or do you like them? You know what? I can't wear bras. I have to wear sports bras because the, it's the widest and it hurts my shoulders the less. Sometimes I can find like those. Those sheer looking bras that stretch a lot. And I can buy those. And those have wide here. Okay, guys. So these are buy it now 12. 
I hope somebody didn't buy these already. I I don't think I showed these. Isn't that the truth? So these are like an inch, guys. They are a quarter of an inch thick. Do I have buy it now 12 on these? You know what, Crystal? This amber bracelet sold at auction for $75 by Maury. Maury won it and Maury gifted it to me. Can you believe that? That was a gift from Maury for Mother's Day. Hey, Crystal. Okay, last call, guys. Anybody for these hoops here, buy it now 12. I'll show you the inside. Hmm. I I have to be careful. Okay, so no takers on these. Who's a beautiful soul? Oh yeah. Mon or um Mona. Not Mona. Who did I say? Not Mona. Maury. Maury bought it for me. <clears throat> okay, guys. Last pair of hoops. And these are, they're half of hoops. They are just over half of an inch tall. They've got, um, Marcasites on them. They're absolutely gorgeous. Very full of marcasites. Very ornate. Am I missing a marcasite right there? Nope. They're all there. Buy it now. 12. Look at these. Let me just focus on one. Aren't those gorgeous? Sterling silver and marcasites. The flower in the middle is gorgeous. Oh, no, these are 12, Manji. The other ones were five because I broke the the little ball off the ear thing but they still work so that this is the size of these so these are by it now 12 i guess i uh i could wear those but my holes up here okay manji's got them for 12 I have something like the genie bras, Cheryl. Um, and they, and they let, I got them. They're from, I think just my size. I got them at Ollie's like really cheap. Those are really cute. Manji. They'd be good for your second or third hole. I ordered one of those bras from China and I ordered because it was China, I ordered a 5X thinking that it would come in as like a 2X or something. And it was an actual 5X. And I had to shorten the straps about this much. Incredible.
All right. So we're done with the hoops. I have more hoops if you guys want to see the rest of my hoops. I can show you. I have more. They're in, or, in order of size. So these are the smallest, and these are decorative. And then I've got these, and these, and these, and these, and these. And these are all just basic sterling silver hoops, and these are wider. Do you guys want to see those, yes or no? Yeah, Nikki, you can see the tiny hoops. You can see all the hoops, baby girl. We can stay here all day if you want. I don't care. I got nothing else to do today. Saturday is auction day. Okay. These are just crystals. Okay. Here's what they look like next to my ear. They're very, very tiny. I'll show you one up close. So we'll do buy it now 12 for these two. And here are the little crystals. They're very ornate. All silver. They're thick little hoops. They're little hoops, but they've got a lot of silver in them. And Nikki's got them for 12. Yeah, I can't wear anything other than a sports bra. So, rot row. I have an emergency. I have an emergency. <clears throat> Butt in the air, butt in the air, butt in the air. You want to see how, how I... This is the shelf my husband was talking about. I'm getting a shelf on my butt. And I was just like, well, fuck you. There's times when you don't mind that shelf on my ass. It doesn't seem to bother you. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm being wretched again. Woo! I can get that ass moving, but then I'm sore afterwards. I can twerk, but I usually have back spasms afterwards. There's some whores in this house. There's some ho or hoes. There's some hoes in the house. There's some hoes in the house. So, so guys, I think I am unaddicted to TikTok. I can go like days without being on TikTok now. Like days without being on TikTok. again and I'm going to hold it okay so I'm going to write this on your thing Nikki 5-8 hold on guys thank you for your patience for all 26 of you guys because we're going to we're going to go through a bunch of buy it nows on all kinds of stuff so don't go anywhere guys so we've got a bear for Nikki that was 15. We got hoops. I cannot, I have, I have to do this. Ring ball, 10. And then Nikki, what did you just buy? Oh, those little tiny hoops. Okay.
because I have to tape this onto your envelope. I can't start you a new envelope just yet. There's some hose in this house. There's some hose in this house. And then when you go to TikTok, right? The little boy says, Mama, why, why can't they fix the holes? Holes. And she says, what are you talking about, baby? What holes? The holes in the house. What, what house, baby? What are you talking about? What house has holes in it? And he starts singing. There's some holes in this house. There's some holes in this house. And what the rapper is saying. And it's a song. But it made famous to me by TikTok. Because people would like dance to it and stuff. There's some holes in this house. There's some holes in this house. He's going... There's some holes in the house. There's some holes in the house. Okay. All right. We have got... Oh, you know what? I'll do those other... Those other... Um, and I don't see those little tiny things, so I must have put them in your... Yep, I see them. Okay. We're going to show the rest of these. I really like my new system, how I put baggies on here. Um, I don't lose things. They don't fly off my boards. Certified freak. Sev certified freak. Seven days a week. I do really like rap. You do. You get sucked down the rabbit hole, but you know what? You learn a lot of stuff. There's a lot of resellers on there. I'm on TikTok. I've got like four videos on TikTok. They're not educational about anything, but I'm going to upload some more. Go on TikTok. Hit, hit, hit flipping mama. Just like me and follow me, guys. You met a rapper today, Steven? Who was it? Nine tenths of an inch delivered. Your package with Jalen Waddle, 2018. He was first round draft pick in the NFL draft. Oh, so I got that one. Okay, hang on, guys. Oops. So I should have an extra 100 in my checking. Bath, happy auction. I love you. Okay. Let me check for that email. Because it could be, Mama, can I bid? I can't pay you till Friday or something like that. You know, so I got to check. And I didn't get one from before. Okay, let me respond to this really quick. Kisses. Okay. Do you guys know I went to bed with this on? Okay, so the, to the person that emailed me, yes, I can. Yep, you go for it, baby. That will be just fine, okay? And I'm sorry I didn't look three hours ago when I got it. Yep. 
Yep, that is absolutely fine. You bit away. I am still broke. However, <clears throat> I will be taking out a PayPal loan today. So, Jake sent me something in the mail, Crystal. I should get it Monday. Tell me what it is. You know I have anxiety. I can't get no satisfaction. You know what? I did not like um, rap because I thought it was the devil's music when Eminem came around. And he was real popular. You guys just saw me fill this damn thing. <clears throat> and I already need to <clears throat> <clears throat> refill it. Look how low it is. That is how much I go through hand sanitizer. And I, I kept telling my son, it's the devil's music. You can't listen to it. And he kept, oh, it's Mother's Day. It's not Grandparents' Day, though. You tell Jake, okay? You tell Jake I have those two pictures of him up. I don't have anybody else's pictures up in my office. Well, I've got one of my granddaughter, but it's hidden, so I don't have to see it. And that I appreciate him very much. And that I love him very much. And he can call and talk to me. Anytime that he is bored and I will drop everything. The only thing I can't drop, and that's for the sake of my marriage, is if I'm watching a movie with Hip Flip and Daddy. I can't drop that. <clears throat> well, you tell him I said thank you. And that I love him. Aww. I will always be a grandma to that boy. I don't care how old he gets. Okay, guys. <clears throat> so we've got... I don't know if I've showed these to you. They are very wide. They are very vintage. I put backings on them. So... This is what it looks like on the ear. They are, of course, buy it now 12. They're a half of an inch wide. Here's what they look like on the inside. If anybody is interested in these. And Manji's in at 12. Thank you, Manji. I'm glad I cut another one of these. So we're going to do or five, eight hoops. Five. And then we're going to do hoops. Twelve. All right. And then I'm going to just, and I'm going to tape this on here. I figure Saturday is my, my day of auction. There. Now I have a whole nother place to... So, until I send this jewelry to you, I can't give you a new envelope. Okay. <clears throat> Next pair of hoops. These are small, but not small est. You know how you can go to the, the fabric store and buy, and I've got one. Those cute little red or pink or purple little things with the magnets. For your pins for like 15, 20 bucks. You can buy these at Harbor Freight for like five bucks. This is already glued on the bottom. It's a magnet. And it and I have a metal cart right here 
that I keep all of your envelopes in. There's the metal cart. See the metal cart? And then I just, this one has my clips and my magnets and things like that in it. Ow! There was pins on the bottom of that. And then, yeah, that's all your envelopes and stuff, guys. No, not there. Right there. Yeah, my office is really messy. There's my peacock wall over there, Jason Momoa. See my peacock and my feathers and my picture? That's where all my little brooches used to be. Okay. So these, <clears throat> oh my gosh, I got so many great things to show you guys. We're going to go through some serious inventory today. And I don't care how long it goes because we're having fun. Who was out of control all night? If she could make payments on a $69 item, the seller said yes, so then she bought all night. Her Facebook page had a GoFundMe set up so she can pay her bills. That's not the seller's fault. That's not the seller's fault. That's the buyer's fault. And those are the ones, unfortunately, that you have to be wary of. Okay, these are smaller hoops, guys, but these are gorgeous. No, and she shouldn't share in the she shouldn't share in the chat. But I'll find out who it is later in case they hit me up in the chat in my auction. Okay. I'm just going to squeeze these shut a little bit more, guys. Because you know what? Yeah, I do pay attention to that shit. And I want stuff as close to perfect as I can get it. You guys know that. I am that anal retentive for you. And then I do it so tight I can't get the thing back through it. If I'm not happy with how it clicks in. I'm not. I'm really not experienced enough to be like, that needs to be tighter because I don't wear earrings. Oh, Sharon. That's up to her. I certainly wouldn't want to be drugged into the drama. Okay. It's perfect now. All right. These measure just a smidge over a half of an inch. And I'm going to put them on here upside down facing forward. And of course, as with all hoops, we're going to go buy it now 12. But do you see how these are not diamond cut, but do you see how they're like faceted, how they're cut and constructed? That's up to Cheryl if she wants to share. If she wants to share, she can share, but that's up to her. So these are buy it now 12. Oh, I forgot my story. So I my son's like, Mom, can't you just listen to it and, and then see? And I said, all right. So I bought the CD. Kathy's got them for 12. Um, and I said, fine. So I bought, I said, but you're using your money to buy the CD. He's like, fine. I said, Eminem is the devil's music. And so I was listening to it, right? And I'm like, yeah, he swears. He swears in there. And there's a couple songs that, you know, about killing his wife. And, you know, so I sat down. And 
I got addicted. I got hooked on Eminem. And then I started listening to other rap. And so I sat down and my son was very, you know, he was, I think, 11, 10, 11. You know, he was very mature for his age. And um, I said, yes, you can listen to it. But I don't want you listening to it with your friends because I don't know if it's okay. But you can listen to it with me. And I got just got hooked on it. And then I started listening to other rap. And that was music that Clay and I could listen to together. And, you know, we just talked about things. And, you know, this is wrong. This is wrong. I mean, he knew right from wrong, you know, at that age. He was babysitting his sister at 10. He took a, a class down at the... Um, what's the medical company that Red Cross? Um and um, was certified for a babysitter. So, and, oh my gosh, he did so good. He was such a good, his sister cut her finger, slammed it in the door and cut her finger really bad one time. And we were at a concert, so we couldn't, um, you know, we couldn't hear our phone ringing. And um, it was bleeding. He just wrapped it up and, and sat down next to her and put his arm around her and rocked her. And he put medicine on it and band-aids after it stopped bleeding and everything. And, um, you know, I called him, you know, during the intermission and I'm like, we're coming home right now. He's like, no, mom, I got it. We're playing a game right now. She's fine. She's not crying. It's fine. You know, it's fine. The bleeding stopped. It's fine. And it wasn't that bad. But just the fact that she had a bleeding wound. And this was like the second or third time we had left him, you know. And that he was knowledgeable enough to take care of it, do the first aid, calm her down, play whatever games that she wanted to play, um, you know, until we got home. And I was just so proud of him. I'm not buying much these days since a lot of bills to pay for vet angel. Yeah. Angel was in the hospital for two weeks for vet bills were over 45,000. Yeah. It's okay, Manji. It's okay. I'm, I'm actually extremely proud of you, Manji, in that compared to the amount of money you used to spend, not just with me, but with all the auctions and everything, um, I'm really, really proud of you, not because you haven't spent, but because the fact that you haven't spent is that you are dealing with your grief in a more healthy way and that um, you are learning to be strong on your own and not use buying jewelry to fill that void. Um, and you know, I've told you before how proud I am of you and, but just not in detail. And girl, I, I just, I want you to know how proud I am of you. I know that you're suffering right now because of Angel and because you miss your son. And, um, you know, that's a grief that, that no mother should, no parent should have to go through. And I just want you to know well, first of all, you know how much I love you, Manji, and I'm there for you 24-7. Anytime you need me, I am there for you. You know that. That is how much I love you. Um, but you know how proud I am of you. I am so proud of you. And it has nothing to do with spending money. It's it's dealing with that that grief, baby. And, um, but every time I see angels wounds and, and, you know, I used to be a vet tech, right? I used to help in surgeries and stuff like that. Um, angel is a Pomeranian dog, Cheryl. Um, she looks better and better and better. That wound is doing really, really well, Manji. And I know it freaks you out. Thank you, Kathy. I know that it freaks you out. Now, where's the hoops? What I do with the hoops? Kathy, what'd you buy for, for $12?
Did you? You didn't buy these hoops. I didn't show these hoops just now. You bought. Oh, yeah, I did. I did show those hoops just now. Okay. So, yeah, just know that, doll, that I am forever proud of you. And you are the freaking bomb, girl. You are the bee's knees. You are the bomb. Because you're going through shit that nobody would want to go through. And you're doing it with dignity and class. And I don't know how you have the strength to deal with it. And I'm proud of you. And I'll say it 5,000 million times. How proud I am of you. Okay, guys, I'm going to throw these up really, really quick. Just as a second. Hey, don't forget about these. Maybe you weren't here when I, put, I threw these up. Yeah. This is terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I think I'd be kicking some pet owner's ass. I hope you sue them for the vet bills. I really do. I hope you sue them for the vet bills. Because you would win. So I've got these hoops. And these hoops measure almost one inch. And they are quarter of an inch wide. So we're doing buy it now 12 on these. And that's what these look like. Manji, are you there or are you crying? Manji, say something. Oh, there you are. You're talking. I'm giving up on you. No, I'm not. So I got these by it now. And these are kind of cool in that on this end, they're square. Or they're straight. But on this end, they're rounded. So they're kind of art deco. Okay, putting those back in the bag. Hi, Christy. Christy, we're doing a buy it now auction where I say a price. And if you want it, you got to be the first one to put the number in there. Well, that police can't stop you from suing. Sue, baby. Sue. Okay, these are an inch and an eighth. Almost, well, no, about an inch and a quarter. These are by it now 12. That's how they hook. And these have that rope kind of twist all the way around. I showed these before, but this is a... Christy, didn't you send me this? Didn't I get this from you, Christy? And I just paid shipping? All right. So for you, my friend, if you want to pee, if you want some hoops... I will send you some hoops in, in replacement of the obsidian that you sent me. Do you like these, Christy? If you like these, they're yours. Do you like them? Oh, she can't wear earrings. Then shut the hell up during the earrings. Kathy, you didn't buy these, did you? Shut the hell up then, Christy. Uh, I'm kidding, honey. Kathy, somebody thinks you bought these. Okay, Manji's in at 12. I didn't think so.
That's why I'm going back over them. Okay. And then I had these. And these are three quarters of an inch. They're on a, uh, where's my camera? I'm on a post. They're on a post. And these are the ones that are concave in the middle and have the edge, the, the lift on the edge, see? And these are buy it now 12 if anyone's interested in these. These are really cute. I will show you what these look like. Really cute. And these are half of an inch wide at their widest. <clears throat> okay, don't see a 12. I'll put those back away. Just want to make sure because we've had people come in. All right, guys, we're at five hours, but you know what? We got a lot more to go through, and we're going to go through it one by one. We're doing buy it now today, damn it. All right, these hoops are freaking gorgeous. These are three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch. Yeah, Kathy bought those. They're in her envelope. There's how they close. Three quarters of an inch. And here's the hoop. They're hollow. Buy now 12. Ooh, zucchini bread. So that's what they would look like. Nancy, you're fine, honey, because sometimes I make mistakes. So, no, you're fine, sweetheart. Cute, cute hoops. Buy it now 12, guys. Who's in it 12? No, she bought the little ones that had, like, the little flat markings on them. All right, guys, guess what time it is? It's giveaway time. <clears throat> We're giving away this wrap bracelet, okay, with little lapis balls in it. Lapis balls. Lapis balls, and here's what it looks like on. This is real pearl. This is a real pearl wrap. No, I got you the right ones. And they've got, I don't know if those are sterling silver. I think, yeah, those have to be sterling silver beads and little lapis balls throughout. And this, believe it or not, was at one time my first lapis purchase. But those are real pearls, guys. I can't remember right now. These freshwater pearls are cultured. These are freshwater, right? And cultured are the round ones. I don't know why I can't think of that right now. Okay, guys. So I'm going to tell you how long this is. This will fit anybody because it will wrap around your wrist. So however long this is compared to your wrist. Oopsie. This is 19 and a half inches long. So depending on how big your wrist depends on how many times it's going to wrap around. So this is how we're going to do it. I'm going to ask Google to pick a number between 1 and 50. Okay. So when I say now, start putting your numbers and watch 
and if somebody has the same number as you that put it in before you put yours in, go ahead and delete your first entry. You're all mods. You can all delete it and put in a second number or put in your second number and then go back up and delete your first. Don't delete somebody else's because they'll get pissed. And if I find out you deleted somebody else's, you're going to lose your mod status. All right. I'm going to press go when you... Oh, hang on. When you see go in the chat, start typing your numbers. Not till you see go. It's not typing. Go! <coughs> Type your numbers. Between 1 and 50. I was going to say Rhonda's dead on, but that's the number I usually pick. But I'm letting Google pick it. Um, 24 is taken, Andrea. Pick another one. I'll delete your 24. Pick another one. I'll delete your 24. You pick another one. Andrea Baker, pick another number. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I don't know if I can remove it. The chat's moving. Okay, Andrea picked another one. This auction is so fun. It's just like hanging out. It won't let me get rid of it. Okay, remove. Everybody look at your numbers, and if they go away, tell me. Because i got to click something. Oh, I can click remove moderator. It's not going away. Let me... It's like it's frozen. Shit. Let me see if I can type in the chat. I can't see the numbers because of... There we go. So let's remove moderator and then so whoever I removed moderator. Oh, I removed I deleted a message from Cheryl. So let's see what Cheryl's hang on guys. I'm back. View deleted message. Okay, Cheryl said five. It's hidden, but Cheryl said five. Okay. Oh, thanks, Andrea. What was it? Oh, Cheryl C is no longer a moderator. So type something, Cheryl, and I'll make you a moderator again. Yeah, Cheryl's five. I can see it. Okay, so Cheryl, type something again so I can make you a moderator. It was stuck. I had to do something. It was covering the chat. Cheryl, type five in the chat again. Add moderator. Okay. 
All right. <clears throat> Has everybody got their numbers in? Paula's got 14. Cheryl's five. All right, guys. <coughs> so stop. <clears throat> okay, we don't have as many numbers in the chat that we do. Some people don't want to play. Okay. <coughs> hey, Google. Wow. Awkward. Wow. Awkward. Hey, Google. Not exactly, but I offer no resistance to helpful assistance. Hang on. I'm still trying to learn how to use this phone. Hey, Google, pick a number between 1 and 50. It's 29. 29. Who's closest to 29? Nancy's at 26. Nancy's three away. I should have said without going over, but I didn't say without going over. But that's how I do it. So Nancy is 26. Sandra is 32. I'll tell you what, this is what I'll do because I didn't say without going over. I will do this. Nancy, you get the pearl in the lapis. Sandra, for future reference, anytime I do that for a giveaway or something, it's always without going over. Sandra, I'm going to send you this one. This is Mother of Pearl. That I got from Triple J. That I've been wearing all auction. So this goes to, I forgot already, Nancy. Congratulations, Nancy. And this one, out of my, both of them out of my personal collection, is going to go to Sandra. Congratulations. I hope that's okay. Oh, Vernon, you just missed the giveaway. But you know what? I'll do another giveaway for that ring. For the wraparound ring. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> I guess I'd have to do it with the pearl necklace that goes with it too, wouldn't I? Hang on, let me, where's my marker? Oops. Free MOP. Are you happy with that, Sandra? Sandra, are you okay with that? Like you can't hear me. Are you okay with that, Sandra? All right, I'll do another giveaway. Vern is back. I'll do one more giveaway. on you. All right, guys. <clears throat> Woo! I think I'm going to keep this. All right, so this wraparound ring measures this will fit everybody because it's wrap around. Good. See, I think I'm being generous there too. 
not patting my pat, patting my back or anything, but so this measures seven inches, and it is a wire underneath here, so you can always recoil it if it's too big. So here is the ring. It it is freshwater pearls, real pearls. I'm trying to coil this a little bit because I when I wear it, it's on a bigger finger. And it has got an amethyst. And I think those are sterling silver beads, but memory does not serve me. And that is real amethyst and real pearls. So, Verna, we're going to pick a number between 1 and 50. And you need to put in a number between 1 and 50. And I'm going to do... And everybody, you guys can all pick different numbers. You missed a giveaway, Nikki. I gave away that lapis and pearl wrap bracelet that I had on. And then I gave the mother of pearl wrap bracelet that I was my personal. Both of those were my personal. I gave that away. And now I'm going to give this wrap ring away. Or, yeah, away. With a real amethyst bead in it. I think those are sterling. So everybody. Oh, you picked 35. Okay, so you were, okay. You can keep the number if you want, but put that same number in the chat. Go ahead and put your numbers in. Everybody put your numbers in. Yeah, Vernon picks 24. That's usually if I was going to write a number down, <laughs> that might be a number I'd write down, but we're letting Google pick. Everybody put your numbers in. You can keep the same number you want, but retype it for me. This shirt has like a hole in it, and my belly keeps popping out. <clears throat> Rhonda, you can keep the same number that you had before, or you can pick a different one. I don't care. But you can only have one number for this giveaway. <coughs> you have to type your number in again. Pick a number, pick a number, pick a number. <clears throat> Is everybody done? Hurry up, Rhonda. You're holding up the process. <laughs> I say that with all the love in the world. Okay, we're going to go super fast now, guys, okay? Yeah, right, Mama. You say that all the time and you don't go super fast. You say super fast and you go super slow. You go super slow, mama. Oh, these, I think, are sapphires. If they are sapphires, they're going to be more than 12. Oh, okay, Rhonda. Doesn't matter. Does Hi, Brenda. Does everybody have their numbers in? I'm counting till five, <coughs> and then I'm going to type stop. <coughs> okay. So, if make sure nobody, there's no double numbers. It is the closest number without going over. <clears throat> hey, Google, 
Give me a number between 1 and 50. That would be 4. Number 4. Did everybody see it? Oh, it's gone now. But it was number 4. Who got who got closest to 4? Cheryl's at 7. Let me get my mouse over here. And my freaking chat's not working. Here we go. Uh, I can still see my, that Cheryl's five. So we did, it started with the 24, nine. What was the number? It was four, right? Nobody picked below four. All right, we'll have to pick another no, another number. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Google, give me a number between one and 50. The answer is 30. 30. Who's closest to 30 without going over? Rhonda's at 16. Verna's at 24. Oh, Kathy's at 28. I think it's Kathy at 28. Yay! Kathy at 28. Good job. Good job. Yay! Congratulations, Kathy. Okay. Let me check and make sure these aren't sterling. You want to send it to Rhonda? You'll pay the shipping? Let me see. Did Rhonda buy did Rhonda win anything? Not yet. If you want to pay the shipping, Kathy, that's cool. Okay. Unless she unless she wins something, if Rhonda gets something, then um, then you won't have to pay the shipping because she'll be paying shipping. All right. Let me test and make sure these are not sapphires, guys. Did I, why did I turn that off? I don't know why. Guys, I think it's time for some beer of the root. Are we still ready to keep going, guys? I hope so. It has got a real amethyst in it. <coughs> and real pearls. And if you want to take the gems off there and do something else with them, go for it. <coughs> if I come across any, she bought the, or I had that bear earlier, but she bought, somebody bought it. Let me see. I thought I had um, a critter pendant over here. Um, I'm looking. 
think that's a Texas pendant. Nope, that's a France pendant. That I need to fix because I broke the freaking wire off it. Say something. I'm giving up on you. <clears throat> okay. Yes, congratulations, Rhonda. Itchy ear, itchy ear. <clears throat> I love this light I bought. I do for you guys. Okay. This way I'll be able to tell. Well, that's testing spinel, but All right, we're going to see their crystals. <clears throat> Hi, Barbara. Okay, Barbara, are you on live chat? So when you, when you look all the way up at the top of your chat, does it say live chat? And remember, <clears throat> if you, shoot, I dropped it. If you pause your video or your video pauses for any reason you are behind now so you have to take the red dot at the bottom of your screen and pull it all the way over to the right and then click anywhere in the chat okay click anywhere in the chat and that'll that'll take you to live but you got to make sure your red dot on the bottom of the screen is all the way over to the right <clears throat> And then you won't get behind. The reason that Barbara's getting this reminder is because she gets behind in the in the the chat, and then she's bidding. She bids on things that are already sold. Okay, right now, Barbara, what we're doing is buy it now. So I'm going to say an amount for an item. And the first person to put in chat that number, like right now we're doing hoops and it's buy it now 12. So the first person to put 12 in the chat will, yeah, or click live, the word live. Um, first person to put that number in the chat will win the hoops. Like right now it's $12. Everybody knows that it's $12 right now. So these are three quarters of an inch. Here is their closure. That's how they close. 
This is what they look like. They are not sapphires. I tested them. And this actually, this little one right here is missing a little crystal right there. So we can do buy it now five on these because they're missing a crystal. So if anybody's interested in these, we can do buy it now five. I don't think anybody's going to notice though. And Sandra is in at five. Thank you, baby. All right. Two more pairs of hoops and then we're out of the hoops. These are three quarters of an inch. They have that same closure. These are hollow. There is the closure. And we're doing buy it now 12. And there you're just basic hollow round hoop. Anybody in on these for 12? Sterling silver. And Kathy is in at 12. Thank you, Kathy. Right there in front, Kathy. Thank you, thank you. One more pair of hoops, guys, and then we're done with hoops. <clears throat> Three quarters of an inch. These have that pokey where you, it's like this. And then you have to put it in that hole, which I am not gifted enough apparently to do it because I'm using the wrong hand. There we go. These are three quarters of an inch. Buy it now, 12. Anybody interested in these? And these are hollow. Buy it now, 12. Yep, three quarters of an inch. They didn't look it on my finger, but they are. Okay, we'll put those away. All right, <clears throat> we're going to do, do we want to stay on earrings? All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Nope, not those. We are not doing those. Because <clears throat> those I got to share, show to sharing. All right, these are gorgeous. Now, these won't all be the same price. These will be different buy it nows. So, these are, are studs, and they're three-eighths of an inch. So, they are between a half a, or a quarter inch and a half an inch. Do 
Why can't I find? Where is it? My thing to display my earrings. I know I said I wasn't going to use it, but now I want to use it. Come on. There it is. Glass City Pickers! Oh, you know what? Am I talking to Tanya or Chris? Because this is long. It's getting cut tomorrow. It's going to be super short. We are doing buy it nows. So whatever price I say in the chat, it's buy it now. The first person to put that number in the chat gets it. And the number I say is the price of the object. Thank you, baby. Happy Mother's Day to you. Unless you're Chris, then... Happy Father's Day. Both. Okay. So these are between a half of an inch and, and a quarter of an inch, which is three-eighths of an inch. <clears throat> and they are sterling silver and turquoise. And we are going to do buy it now 12 on these, which still for authentic turquoise, and this setting is an excellent deal. Buy it now, 12. That is genuine turquoise. The stone is pronged. Well, it's not considered a pronged setting, but it sits down into the setting in those little prong-like sterling silvers hold them in. They are on a post. <clears throat> These are the original backs. And Verna is in at 12. Thank you, Verna. I'm going to take just a second and bag these right away and throw them in the envelopes since I have the bags sitting there. We're going to go boom, 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 boom. All these next ones are cute. I haven't I haven't offered these up yet. I put backs on these. These are studs. No, not Chris. Not not you. Not talking about you, Chris. <clears throat> these are three eighths of an inch, which is three lines on a tape measure. So they're in between, three-eighths of an inch is in between a quarter and a half. These are adorable. They're like pounded metal. I want to show you the, the markings on the back first. These are Silpata. And that says, looks like TL. And I'm trying to read that upside down. China, 925. <clears throat> Guys, I'm going to try. Pardon me. I'm going to try and get in close enough so you can see the Silpata, okay? I don't know if these are retired. Okay, right there.
Okay, there's the Sopata. There's where it says China. There's the 925. And I forget what this is. Is it a copyright mark? I think that was an R. Okay. So, and these are really unique. That they have that that hammered hammered look to them, but they're not a flat type of stud earring. They've got where the the sterling silver is bent on an edge and i'll try and and line that up so you guys can see that next to each other all right <clears throat> so here's the backs and here is the front these are super cute guys silpata i don't know if these are retired or not the last three silpatas i've had have been retired but i'm going to do buy it now 22 on these Jude says, I need to start researching my Sulpata. But I am I am willing to do a buy it now 22 on these. Sterling Silver Sulpata, which Chris and Tanya, that is a sought after designer Sulpata. And it has um, three triangles in each other on the back. I didn't see any comps for these, so it's possible these are retired. I'll have to do some more research on these. I will put these back. I didn't realize those were Sulpata. Oh, Manji's in at 22. All right, Manji, thank you. She's probably going, Ha, oh, you're so stupid, Kelly. Do you know what retired uh, Silpata goes for? You just warned you on on last Saturday you got to start researching your stuff. Yeah, I know. I didn't realize those were Silpata. I lost three days of work last week, so my loss, your gain. Manji, if you ever decide to start doing auctions and reselling, you know what, Manji? If you do decide to do auctions to kind of liquidate your collection, especially with um, with uh, Angel's bills and everything right now, I'll call your auction for you. I'll help you out, sissy. <coughs> well, you could have an auction for pieces that you don't want anymore. Or that you don't wear anymore or maybe weren't what you thought they were going to be. And then um, I'll call your auctions for you. If I can. But yeah, I'm more than willing to help you out. Hey, people, people called my auctions for me when I was first starting out. And it was a big help. <clears throat> All right. I am going to do buy it now six dollars on these. These are weighty. I'm going to tell you what they weigh. <clears throat> but they are so funky looking. I picked them up because they were fun, and I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. It ain't. Ain't ain't a word because ain't ain't in the dictionary. Um, Dolly was here earlier, but on Saturdays, honey, she works at her house. She's got, she owns several properties and, um, she's fixing one property up and they're pretty close to having it done, but she's still doing the, the fine touches and everything before she puts it on the market to rent. So that's what she does on Saturdays, but she is back to work. So she could be working today now too. But she was, she was in the chat earlier. <clears throat> I did wear these. I'm not going to lie. I thought they were funky. 
5.82. So they're about two and a half grams a piece. Um, I think I put these backs on here. My backs are silver tone. Well, everything I sell is silver, sterling silver. The backs I put on are not. So these are two and an eighth inches long. No, nope, we're going to say two and a quarter inches long. <laughs> I'm going to show you first. Okay, I'm going to hold it up to my ear. And then I'm going to put it on the display. And then I'm going to give you a number. I don't remember what I told you before. So don't be putting that number in. <laughs> now, not all of my auctions are like this for those of you who are maybe not in here all the time. Like Chris and Tanya, I'm so happy you guys are here. If nothing else, just to say hi. I love you. I was asking about you the other day, Tanya. Where's Tanya? Didn't get an answer. Where's Tanya? Didn't get an answer. Capital letters. Where's Tanya? Did I say six, Manji? We'll see if I stick to that. Look at these. I like big balls and I cannot lie. You other jewelers can't deny. When I see big balls, I gotta have them. Um... Isn't that awesome? They've been cleaned. But so you've got a you've got your little ball here, sterling silver. This sterling silver bead. That's that's 925. And then your big ball at the end is also sterling silver. And I just think these are freaking awesome. And so, all right, these are buy it now six. Six dollars. Buy it now six for anybody interested. These are so cool. And Manji's got them at six. I was going to put them in. You're lucky. Oh, I was going to put those in an envelope, and I didn't. These are going to be big balls. Earrings. So now, Manji, when I see you, I'm going to say, hey, Manji, how those big balls treating you? How those big balls treating you, Manji? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> this pair of earrings, whose price shall remain nameless, measure between a half and three quarters, which is five eighths of an inch. But they are an eighth, or no, I'm sorry, a quarter of an inch wide. They are on a post. They are sterling silver and onyx. They tried to tell me they were obsidian, but they're not obsidian, they're onyx. And they are hinged. And we will do buy it now 12 on these. These are really garbage pickers. These are really, really cute. Super cute. And they're hinged. So the bottom will. Nikki's got them at 12. Wait. Manji said love those for the $6 ones. And then I saw 12 for Manji, so I think Manji came in first. Sorry, Nikki. I read that wrong. Sorry, Nikki. I still love you. I saw yours pop in, but Manji's was already there. Apparently, I can't make it into the bag. Good thing I don't have to try and get it in the hole. Good thing Hip Flip and Daddy's got good aim.
after, you know, 36 years, his aim should be right on. Um, Nikki, let me look. I do. I've got some really nice ones that have onyx. <clears throat> okay. These have the backs that the... I don't know what kind of hook you call it. It's attached to the earring. It goes through the ear, and then it, the bottom of it hooks on a C-ring. I don't know what kind of back that's called. It's called this back. And then this just, if I get it on the right side, it's a good thing I'm female, not a male. Apparently, I can't. I can't get things to the proper location, so it's a good thing I'm uh, like that. Okay, these measure from the top of the hook. What's this? What is this hook called? I know somebody in here knows it. All right, so this is one tenth, or excuse me, one eighth of an inch below an inch. So it's one line and a, a ruler below an inch. And these this is the front. They've got beautiful marcasites all around, beautiful onyx. Nice onyx cabochons. This is what they would look like. I'll show you both of them. Because believe it or not, in this auction, you get two earrings. Yay! And we are going to do, buy it now, $16, one six. These are gorgeous, 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 gorgeous earrings. And I'll show you the markings on the back. Ooh, I got Picky Nikki first. She just beat you, Manji. Sorry, Nance. Thanks for your bits, though. So there's Thailand. And then there's the 925 with an A next to it. Don't know what that means. Nice snag, Nikki. You got to be ready, guys. I'm going to put this at the top so I can write. All right. Awesome. Oh, my gosh, guys. All right. All of my Celtic lovers out there, can I get an Irish? Irish? I'd say put a whoop whoop in the chat if you're Irish. But we don't want to waste the time. We wasted enough time today. So these <clears throat> measure, they are on a post. Without showing you the earrings, they are on a post, and then there's a dangle. Everybody get your fingers on the numbers. These are one and three quarters of an inch long. These have, I believe, the original backings. Hang on. I muck something up. I can't sell them. I just broke the back off. 
because it was crooked and I wanted to straighten it and then it was a little wobbly and but here's what they look like so they're gorgeous but I gotta solder that back on the back but I'll bring these out another time but I have to straighten it out and if you don't straighten it out proper like I didn't take the time to straighten it out proper it will it'll break but somebody had already been bending on it prior to me having it. So it just needs to be soldered down. Calm down, mama. Dang. All right. These are long ones. No, I'm not talking about you, Chris. <clears throat> These are on French hooks. Very nice, sturdy French hooks. I think Chris is the only man in the chat right now, so he gets all the man jokes. Shirley Matthews. All right. <clears throat> Not including the fish hook. Or the French hook. They're two inches long. These have a super nice hook on them. Nice and sturdy, beautiful shape. Nice and curvy. They are symmetrical. And they are beautiful. They are hooked right here. So you're going to have that dangle, dangle, dangle. They're two inches long, not including the hook. And we're going to do buy it now $14 for these. One four. Sterling silver. Buy it now. One four. Aren't those cute? And Manji's got them. Come down, Mama. Come down. Come down. We've got a Mama down. A Mama is down. In that Mike Myers movie. I don't know if it's Austin Powers. He's like, we've got a paper, paper down. It's at his way. Oh, no, it's uh, I Married an Axe Murderer. We've got a paper down. And then a bunch of people come out and they pick the paper up. All right. Here we go. Get the bra adjusted. <clears throat> All right, these are super cute. The dangle on these. So these are all going to be dangles because that's what we're into now. A half an inch. They've got nice backs. Sterling silver filigree type of design. They are little hearts. It looks like the design in there is little hearts. <clears throat> and we are going to do buy it now 14 for these. You guys haven't even seen these. Buy it now 14. Another 14. I should have made it a different number. Do I have another 14 out there? Well, Lisa, I'm doing buy it nows now. We got to pay the state firm guy for interest on a loan that we took like 20 years ago. And I got to pay the tax man and everything else. So I'm just going to keep going. Everybody wants me to keep going. I'm going to keep going. Do I have a buy it now 14 in the chat? And Martin's Nest has 14. Congratulations. Let me get your envelope. Oops, let me put them in their baggie. Why not? I got nothing else to do, and everybody wants me to keep going, so. All 
All right. All right. <clears throat> oh my gosh, these are cute. You guys haven't even seen these. You guys have to wait. Wait your turn. All right, these dangles, because the next few are going to be dangles, guys. Uh, nine tenths of an inch. So they're almost an inch. They are super cute. Nice hooks. Let me just polish this real quick. I have a polishing cloth right there. I don't need to use my shirt. But my shirt is so soft. All right. We're going to do... On these, we're going to do Buy It Now 12. Bye, Sandra. Love you, babe. Buy It Now 12. So this is going to be about, oh, between half and three quarters. That's going to be about a quarter of an inch. Really cute. They're on fish hooks or French hooks. Right now, 12. And that's what they would look like. Very cute little danglies. Put these in their bag. All right, <clears throat> now these, send them to Picky Nikki. Okay, are you sure? Okay, then you won't, there's not going to be any charge for you for shipping because she's already got stuff. All right. Well, thank you, Martin. Nest. I'm going to put these in Nikki's envelope. <clears throat> All right. Now, these, these are so gorgeous. I like these anytime I get these. These are an inch. Actually, they are just a little bit over an inch, almost an eighth of an inch over that is very considerate of you these are the these are hollow they're the same on the back as they are the front now the way i'm going to show them to you there's a little tiny dent in the front of this but that can always be i'll flip it around so that's in the back but i want you to see it Oh, okay. Thanks, Rhonda. So, here's the little nick on this. But I can I can flip this around so that little dent is in the back, not the front. And I will do buy it now 12 on these. The backs look exactly the same as the fronts. Do I have a buy it now of 12? I'm going to flip that around right now. That's not the one that needs flipped around. <laughs> Kathy, do you get people offering to buy like some of the things that you that you get out of the dumpsters and stuff like that?
They are. They are cool, Rhonda. And I'm just reversing this so the dent is in the back. That little, that little tiny dent, nobody's ever going to see it. So now, yeah, you guys did that last week, too. So now this is what the fronts look like. No dent. So nobody's ever going to know that that is even on there. Do I have a Buy It Now 12? This is the one that it's got that little boo-boo in the back. Okay, Manji, is that 12 from you for these? Just say yes or no. Is that 12 from you, Manji, for these? I think so. Okay. Gotcha, honey. Thank you, thank you. All right. Say something. I'm giving up on you. All right. These are Mother of Pearl. And of course, they are Dangle. They measure just a smidge under nine tenths of an inch or eight tenths of an inch. So they are. Now nah, I'm going to call them three quarters of an inch. Because with the hook, they're over three quarters of an inch. And I'll show you the back. You can see the uh, mother of pearl in the back as well. And their markings are on the back. Which is 925. Five mm. If we get time, we'll get to looking at that under the scope. Oh no! Oh, they have to pay for it. These are really, really beautiful. Did Did I give you a measurement on the? Oh, yeah, I said I was going to count them three quarters of an inch, but they're a little bit longer than that. And we are going to do, buy it now, 15 on these. These are beautiful. So beautiful. Mother of Pearl. Just the detail in this silver work on these. And I've got Manji first. And I am on live chat. Manji is fast, man. There's the back. When By the time she gets this envelope, she's got stuff in here. She's going to say, I don't remember getting these. Congratulations, Manji. Get your fingers ready, guys. These are Mother of Pearl, too. These are cute. Super, super cute. Make sure you are all refreshed, guys. These are nine-tenths of an inch long. Almost three quarters of an inch 
wide, they're open back. Beautiful mother of pearl. Again, beautiful silver work. Gorgeous. And here's how thick they are. So they've got the design all the way on the sides too. And I will do buy it now 14 on these. I know they're beautiful, right? Gorgeous. Buy it now 14. And Manji got them again. And she's in a different country. All right, guys, you 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 gotta be quick. Manji's husband must be there going, yes, yes, get them, get them, yes, yes, get them. All right. All right, guys, these are, these are a little bit different. Well, I'll do these first, and then we'll do the other ones. <clears throat> these are like along the same lines. Not crosses, but these are nine tenths of an inch and they measure half an inch wide. And these kind of have a, a filigree fee, feel to them, but they are also mother of pearl. And these are gorgeous. You're going to pierce Angel's ears? What? Oh, nice try, Designs. Let me make you a moderator. I thought about hitting Kathy up and asking her how much she wanted for one of those pink uh, king-sized Ugg um, comforters. But um, she said she was giving them to the... Uh, the battered women's shelter. So I, I wasn't going to try and take that away from, from them. Oh. Okay. Designs and do-overs. Remind me what your name is, honey. Please. Okay, you are a mod now. Okay, guys. <clears throat> These are gorgeous. Kristen, thank you. Thank you, Kristen. Kristen Wig. I'll just think Kristen Wig. Okay. So these, as you can see, are... They're filigree. You can see right through them with mother of pearl in the leaves. And we're going to do buy it now 15 for these. These are gorgeous. Very high quality. Very well made. Very nice quality. Not flimsy at all. Kathy. Kathy just beat Manji. Somebody did it. I'm sorry, Manji. I'm not making fun of you, honey. I love you. You know I love you. But Kathy beat Manji. Oops, let me put it in the bag. Oh, Kathy, you're so sweet. You buy for your mom so much. They, You're going to end up getting them someday because they're very, very nice quality. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> now, these ones are a little different, and I can't remember what they are. Manji, I was slow this time, I know. <clears throat> but these are dangles, and they measure one and three quarters of an inch. 
and you have pearls dangling at the bottom. And I do believe they are real pearls, but they painted them gold. So I want to test. Oh, shoot. I didn't turn this on. Hang on a sec. Because I know that what's dangling from these are gems. So, oh, no. If I could have a steady hand here. Lord, give me a steady hand. Thank you, Lord. And they are garnet. I hit the post. Now, is that? That's garnet and that's tourmaline. Must be black tourmaline. Okay. So it must be these are all going to be tourmaline. I think I remember that. I will say the garnet looking ones are could be tourmaline too, but they are garnet color. But they are, that's in the same family. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure guys. Okay, so these are, what did I say, one and three quarters. <clears throat> and they've got a long sterling silver jewelry rod with, I'll show you in a minute. Oh, that's so sad, Cheryl. Um, there's a there's a sterling silver rod, and that is what they have hooked um, solder jump rings to, and the gems are dangling from. Now I'm going to show you the whole earring. Hi, Debbie. We're doing buy it nows, Deb. All right. These are really unique looking. <clears throat> All right, guys. Now, the pearls are real, but they're painted. So, we're going to do buy it now 18 for these. These are garnet and tourmaline. So, the darker, um, the red ones, those are garnets. The rest are tourmaline. Green tourmaline and amber colored tourmaline. These are pearls, but they're painted. Sterling silver all around. Buy it now, 18. Those are all gems. Very dangly. There we go. All those little gems dangling down. Buy it now, 18. The hooks are 925 as well. You missed them, Deb. <clears throat> I've got these, and I've got one more pair. Well, I guess I got a couple of no, those are pendants. <clears throat> I've got one more pair. These are on a ball stud, and the dangle measures one inch.
in the back reeds sterling 925 this is another piece that looks like uh pewter but it's silver Yeah, we did um, we did all our studs and our dangles were on our last two. All right, guys. Here they are. Super pretty. Super pretty leaves. And then little balls. So these are like grapes and leaves. And we're going to do buy it now 10 for these. Buy it now 10. These are really super pretty. And I got Manji first. There's the backs. <laughs> Manji, since your hubby knows that you've got stuff coming, do you want me to go ahead and send your stuff out Monday? Thank you, Joyce. Manji, you want me to send your stuff out Monday? Oh, but he gave you permission Wednesday. <clears throat> All right, last pair of earrings. These have got beautiful marcasites on them. We've got two hoops. They are solid together. And it is just over an inch long, inch and an eighth. The backing says 925 and is just pure um, silver. They've got beautiful fish hooks on them or French hooks. We've got all our marcasites here. And we are going to do buy it now 15 on these. Yeah, they're beautiful, Rhonda. They're only buy it now 15. And Manji's in at 15. Thank you, Manji. All right, guys, we are going to move on to pendants. <clears throat> All right. Put this away. I'm going to take this amber pair down so that I can get a hold of Sharon a little bit later. <clears throat> All right. Now, these are pendants without the chain. I've got pendants with the chain. We can go through those really quick. And then I've just got some single chains, um, but they're not pendant chains. I guess I have one 16-inch snake chain. If somebody wanted me to throw on a pendant, I have a 30-inch absolutely gorgeous open snake. I got, or I can say it's a round box chain. That would be a better definition a 24 inch uh figaro oh 
Oh, Rhonda, a lot of people do. A lot of people do. All right. Let me get this off. And then I will show you these. And then we'll go to the ones that don't have the chains. How much for Debbie's bracelet? What? Why? Why do you want me to sell it? Yeah, Deb. Because I'm doing it by it now and everybody wants me to keep going. So... I guess I can do bracelets. She's back to gold. Okay. Well, this is what I sold it to her for, so I'll offer it to you guys for the same price. It's seven inches. It's got a spring ring clasp. It is herringbone. It's plain on one side. No kinks. And then it's got a design on the other side. So see the design? I sold it to her for 10 so... Whoever wants it for 10. Seven inches long. Has a plain side and a line side. Oopsies. There we go. And Deb's is in at 10. All right, Deb. Let me get another. <clears throat> Deb Mowers bid ten dollars. Kristen, wait, hold on. Okay, what am I doing, guys? What am I doing? Kristen, put in the chat. What do you want me to do? Kristen, you want me to bill you and then, so bill you and send it to Debbie. But Deb had already bid $10 on it. Oh, Okay, you guys are fighting. Okay.
All right. It's going to go to Debbie Kendall. From Kristen. So we'll just do... Debbie, we'll just do $10 credit for you then, okay? All right. And there's no shipping charge because she's got stuff already going to her. <clears throat> so you only get a charge for the bracelet. All right. Thank you, Kristen. That's very nice of you. Deb, so I still have your envelope. All right. Now let's do these pendants. So this has got a 16 inch chain on it. All right. So the pendant is measuring one, just over one and a half inches long. And it is almost an inch wide. This has got some weight to it. It's got a, it's got a 16 inch chain on it. I will tell you how much it weighs. It is a, a sturdy pendant. It's 7.87 grams. And you guys have not seen this yet. So this has spring ring clasp. It's what I call an open rope. So it's not a solid rope. And here is your pendant. It is a Celtic pendant. I'm going to turn it sideways so you can see how... Um, thick it is and that's solid silver that's not hollow has a nice bail on it this is a, a weighty cross here is the back and for the chain and the pendant we're going to do 28 dollars buy it now 28 And here's what it looks like. Do we have a buy it now 28? Manji says yes. Okay, well. So, Debbie, are you okay taking that other piece from Kristen? And letting Deb Mowers have the bracelet? I need to know right now. All right. We're going to fold this up. And we are going to Celtic Pendant Chain 28. Thank you, Manji. So, Debbie, you're all right with that going to Deb Mowers, yes? Thank you, Manji. Oh, 
Oh, you don't have to send me anything, baby. I just want to know what's going on. Okay. Okay, so now we're sending to Deb Mowers. Gift from Kristen. Put a note on here for shipping. Unless she buys something else. All right. The one thing I wanted to come out did not come out. There we go. Yep. You can thank Kristen, Deb. That's a very nice gift, Kristen. Thank you so much. And I put that. That needs to go in. I have to make sure that stays flat. There we go. Debbie's. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Now this this is a beautiful beautiful necklace, guys. Gorgeous. It is 16 inches. It has a um barrel clasp. I do not believe this is sterling silver. The clasp is not sterling silver. Okay. The rest of it is. It is liquid silver. Liquid silver. All the little silver balls are sterling silver. The liquid silver is sterling silver. These are all lapis beads and then at the very bottom you have a drop pendant of lapis that is so so beautiful there we go and look at the detail on that pendant i'll get you a length for the pendant Let me see what this says. I am going to do a buy it now of 30 on this. It says sterling on the back of the pendant. This is so gorgeous, guys. This is so gorgeous. Oh, my goodness, guys. And Manji's in it 30. This is so pretty, Manji. You are going to love this. Oh, my gosh. So pretty. Congratulations on that. Whoopsies. I got a pendant that went to the dark side. All right. Congratulations, baby. Okay. <clears throat> now I've got this one. This is a longer chain. It is a curb chain, which means it is flat. So it's wider. It is 16 inches long. Now, about this pendant it is a unique pendant in that
Yes, Manji, that's beautiful. Okay, so here is, it's a spring ring clasp. And there's your curb chain. So it's flat and thin. And this has a very unique pendant on it. And it is amethyst. This is the front. Now, this is definitely artisan made. This is a lightning bolt soldered on the back of this. And I'll show you there's something else on the back. This is genuine amethyst, guys. So it's a genuine amethyst crystal. Come on. Hang on, I can't get, let me just get close. And then let me turn this around. Because on the back is that lightning bolt. And then you have this face down here. So either way that you wear it. You've got an adorable face on there and a lightning bolt on the back. So you can you can wear it either way. I'm not sure which way it was meant to be worn. If this is supposed to be, I think this is supposed to be the front. Just like that. And I will do a buy it now of $26 on that. I don't know if it's a thespian face or not. And Manji's in at 26. Thank you, Manj. Hold on, I still want you. I still need you. I know it's beautiful. I wore it. But I cleaned it again after I wore it. True story. I didn't tell you how long. Well, yeah, it's 18 inch. Might be a 19 inch. Oh, Dad, mind you, just beat you out. Okay. <clears throat> this is an extra special pendant guys this is so gorgeous <clears throat> that face right okay this chain has silver balls they're actually silver discs silver discs it's an 18 inch chain the pendant, including the bale, is over one and three quarters of an inch. And it measures three quarters, no, nope, seven, eight, ten, it's eight tenths of an inch. So it's over three quarters of an, no, three quarters would be eight tenths. Nine tenths of an inch wide. So it's almost an inch wide. <laughs> well, you might want to wait on this one, Manji. There is your spring ring. Here's your Bali or your uh, silver links on your Rolo chain. And it is that gorgeous lapis pendant with the gold flex in it. That is so absolutely beautiful. And we're going to do $46 by it now on this for the pendant and the chain. Bye, Manji. Do I have anybody for $46 by it now? And there is your 925 on the back, back of the pendant. 
Look at that. That is so pretty. And Mangi, <laughs> Mangi says 46. Now she's going. Right, Manji? Now you're going. She says, now I'm going. One of these necklaces I'm going to do a two-for-one on. It me which means you're going to get the, the necklace and the pendant. You're going to get an extra pendant. To go with it. Okay. Oh, here's my my gold. My Black Hills gold necklace. Okay. Yes, it's beautiful. It is a beautiful chain, Kristen. Thank you. Groovy. Kathy, I love you so much. Okay. <clears throat> All right, guys, rev your engines. I'm going to show you another spectacular piece. <clears throat> Pardon me. Nobody has seen this yet. Has an 18 inch chain. It is an open rope chain. The pendant is one and a half inches. Has a beautiful setting. Oh my goodness. It's one and a half inches by three quarter inches. <clears throat> And it has a beautiful lobster claw. Ooh, I have knuckle hair. I should get rid of that. So it's an open row. And it is a beautiful malachite. Or I'm sorry. Yeah, malachite. And I think this is the one that's got the... No, maybe not. I thought this bale opened, but no. Kind of looked like it did. Maybe I didn't get that one. That's what the bale looks like. So it's a beautiful setting. It's prong set. Beautiful malachite. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Malachite. I'll show you the back. <laughs> Manji, I got you on my cell now. And there is your 925. Or is this 950? Let me look. I'm going to do buy it now 48 on this. KBN is the designer and it's got a stamp so it may have been doesn't look Navajo or anything but there is a maker stamp on it and it says 925 Yep, KBN. Do I have a buy it now of 48? It looks like two crescent moons, one on top of the other. Or I 
Oh, this might be a Carolyn Pollock. I think this is a Carolyn Pollock. I'll show you. Okay, here's the front. Here's the setting. And let me show you the... Carolyn Pollock goes for some major money. She has the crescent with the C. That's the necklace that Kathy bought me. It was a Carolyn Pollock and went for a hundred. And there's the, but I don't know what, what the the other would be for the initials. Okay, I'm gonna rest my hand up here. It's got the crescent moon with a C inside of it. Debs is in at 48. I just want to get. I mean, I don't know because I've never seen. Okay, so you see the crescent with the C inside the crescent. Usually the C is up and to the right of the crescent. For a Carolyn Pollock. But I don't know why it would have a crescent with a C inside it. Oh, Deb's, Deb's got it for 48. Thank you, Deb. It's a good deal. It's a good deal on that. I paid, I paid quite a bit for that. Good snag. Yeah, you'll have to look at that really close and see if it's Carolyn Pollock. But it sure did. I'd have to, to research all of that. You have the big envelope. It's beautiful. Thank you, Deb. And if it is, congratulations. You got a hell of a deal. But I wouldn't have changed my starting anyway because I had already said it, so... Even if it should turn out to be that. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. This is going to be buy one, get an extra pendant for free. Cause why not? I've got these chains all messed up. Hang on. Let me get this out. Oh guys, I have got a gold over silver. Let me do that one first. All right, this chain measures. This is a Open Hearts collection from K, from K's, the Jane Seymour collection. And this has an extender on it that is, oh, I guess it's not an extender. It's just different um, jump rings you can make at different lengths. So the, the longest length on this is 18 inches and then it's got an option at one inch and two inches so this can be a 16 inch a 17 inch or an 18 inch <clears throat> here is the lobster claw so you've got a nice big lobster claw you've got the open heart right there you've got a beautiful rollo chain on this <clears throat> and it's a double chain and i'll show you what i mean when i get up to it and it is a key but hang on there's a surprise no, and you don't even guess it. 
Come on, there we go. So the heart in the front is 10 karat gold and it's got diamonds. Those are diamonds in it. So the key, the chain, the clasp is 925. The gold on the front is it might be 14. Let me look at the let me look at the clasp. I want to get really close so you can see really close. There, thank you, baby. Good job, Cameron. Okay, can you see the diamonds in there? Let me study my hand. There. Can you see the diamonds? So it's not like every other one there's a diamond. And you can see the gold on the top. Wow, that really, really burned my shoulder. Let me look at the back of this again so I can read it to you. And it has got, it's like two diamonds next to each other, space, two diamonds next to each other, space, two diamonds next to each other. I mean, there's probably two dozen diamonds in here. And they did test diamond. I'm just looking for that. Here it is. 925 14k. Did I do it upside down? Or is it 10k? Let me let me read it. Ten K. So nine two five. Can you see it? Whoops. Move your move your thumb, dummy. Nine two five. Ten K. And then what does that say? <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. JWRR 10K925. Okay. 18 inches. So, what is the 10K? It's the gold on the front. Trying to get you a close up so you can see all the diamonds. Okay. Now I'm going to hold still. That is full of diamonds. It's not like a chip here, a chip there, a chip here, a chip there. I'm going to try and hold it so that you can see. See how you can actually see the diamonds, guys? Okay, what I'm going to do is... I don't know what this sold for at K's, but I'm only going to do a buy it now of 75. That's it. Buy it now is 75 with the 10 karat gold and the dozens of diamonds. Now, I don't I don't think Lee, I don't think it's it's rose gold. It looks rose gold, but it's 10 karat gold. Um I'm going to get up close again so you can get it. There we go. I think it's it's just yellow gold. That's a really good price for this, guys. Especially at a buy it now. And Manji has it for 75 We thought we were free of the Manji. Thank you, Manji. 
I'm just joking, honey. You know that. That's a really good price for that, guys. going to do some more. All right. <clears throat> I got some more gold. <clears throat> this is a longer chain. Oh, no, it's not. It's 18 inches. Just a smidge over 18 inches. It has got lobster claw clasp. What does that clasp say? I don't know. I can't read it. It is so tiny, I need to put my headset on and then look through this. NC, NC925. Okay, let me look at the back while I'm, I'm in this position. So the back says, oh, that's the front, you dummy. Twelve carat. And it says nine two five sterling plus sign twelve carat. And this is an open rope. And it is a it is a smaller pendant. I got it on backwards. Let me give you a length on the pendant. Mm -hmm. Including the jump ring. Just under three quarters of an inch wide. And it measures uh, just over a quarter of an inch. And that's the back. Where you can see the 12 carat. And the 925. Yeah, it was a nice day. It was chilly this morning. And then it was a nice day. So these are two hearts. Sterling silver with diamond cutting on them. And then you've got two 12 karat gold leaves. One's rose gold. One is yellow gold. This is what, at least here in Michigan, we call Black Hills Gold. Where you've got the three colors. You've got the silver, the rose gold, and the yellow gold. And I will do a buy it now for 40 on this. 18-inch chain. You guys haven't even seen this yet. Nobody has seen this. So for those that really, really like Black Hills Gold, here you go. And that's a good deal for that. I'll show you what it looks like. Oopsies, I can't see. That's backwards. Love it, but my eyes close. It is more dainty. It's 
it's cool though. And Manji's in at 40. It's really pretty. Very, very pretty. Thank you, Manji. Sorry about all that looking at it, guys. All right. That's the most complicated stuff I have. Okay, guys. This has got a lot of extension on it. It's almost like they put two extenders on this. It's got like five and a half inches of extender of the chain. So if you, if you know how, you could take off one of those extenders if you wanted to and use it on something else. It is 17 inch chain just a little bit over 17 inches it's a spring ring clasp there we go it is all sterling silver Come on. There we go. So there's the extender. Rolo chain. And a beautiful marcasite cross. Very, very pretty. Here's the back. States 925. Yeah, and I can't read the other stamps. They stamped them. Um, is it PW925? Yeah, PD925. And it looks like there's something else deep in there. Mm, no, maybe not. And I will do buy it now. 16 on this. I will do this for only $16, guys, with the chain. Buy it now, 16. And the pendant measures, I don't know if I measured the pendant. An inch and a third by three quarters of an inch and Nancy's in at 16. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you very much. All right. This next necklace was actually my own collection. But I've gotten so many since that I don't wear it anymore. I bought this, wow, <clears throat> maybe a couple of years ago, a year and a half ago. And actually, since, um, Yvonne Thrifty Rich had gotten me the one that she got me. I wear that one. Because it's blue and then the other side is silver. This is 18 inches. And this has an extension of 2 inches. So you can wear it as 16 inch if you desire. There is the spring ring clasp and the extender 
And this is adorable in that it's a double chain and it's got rhinestones in the cross. So those are all rhinestones. All the rhinestones are there. I don't believe they're CZ, so we won't call them crystals. But um, I will do buy it now 15 for this, one five. Buy it now, one five, fifteen dollars. I loved this. Absolutely loved this. Doesn't matter what side it flips on, Deb's got it for fifteen. She just beat you, Nancy. It's beautiful on whatever side it goes on. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. This, I've got three left to go. And after this one, the next three are doozies. This is a gold over silver. It did test 925. I'm not telling you where I tested it. 18 inches. The pendant is almost two inches, one in nine tenths. It's got a spring ring clasp. And this little thing, I believe it says 925. Yep, 925 and then a little copyright. I should just leave this on. Oh, it says PL or RL. Wonder if that's Ralph Lauren. Dainty Rolo chain. Come on, Cameron, you've been so good all day. And it is a key that says love. Whoopsies. Love in the heart. Come on. And then it has a little heart at the bottom. And we're going to go buy it now 15 on this. Ha 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 ha. Anybody interested in this gold over silver? Buy it now for 15. I don't know, Dub. We're going to have to wait and see. Yeah, lots of fun. Lots and lots of fun. Oopsies. That is for sure. Okay. This is a very nice ball chain. Hmm. And then what is on it? I left on it because it is so freaking adorable. It is so adorable. It's 18 inch chain. Has a lobster claw.
and look at the pendant that's on it. It's a freaking crown! And it's got the little cross on top of the crown. All the way around. Isn't that adorable? You could use it as a charm if you wanted to. Or it could stay a pendant. And there is a star. Oh no, it's a flower. Underneath the crown. This is adorable. And you'll get an 18 inch ball chain. And I'll do buy it now 20 on this. That is so cute. Do we have a buy it now 20 on that? I'm going to put it on that pin. Okay. The one after this is a doozy, guys. So let's see how long this is. Now, I'd have to take this chain apart to get this off of here. But it's got a Thunderbird on it. Native American Thunderbird. It is 18 inches. The Thunderbird has got opal in the middle of it. And it's three. It's a little bit longer than three eighths of an inch. Not quite half of a half of an inch. So it's in between um, a quarter inch and a half an inch. It has got a spring ring on it. There's the Rolo chain. And then here is your Thunderbird. You could take this off and make this into a pen or a, a charm if you wanted, or you could leave them on as a pendant. Um, that is a little opal that's in there. It's got pink hues in it. And I'll do the same with this. Um, buy it now. 20. For anybody that wants the Thunderbird. And the 18 inch chain's not bad either. And Debs has got the Thunderbird. Congratulations. Trying to move fast, guys. going to write T-Bird 20. All right. Now this next one is a Chrysocola pendant. It is gorgeous. I'm not sure if you've seen this or not. I don't believe I've shown you guys this. It's a 20 inch chain or I think it's actually 19 and a half. Nope, it's a 21-inch chain. It is an open rope. The pendant measures... I feel like I'm going to sneeze. The pendant measures... Nope, I guess just one. Bless me. The pendant measures... Just over an inch, not an inch and an eighth, but in between an inch and an inch and an eighth. There is the spring ring. It's backwards. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Open rope. And here it is. It looks like turquoise, doesn't it? It's actually a Chris Cola, but you can call it whatever you want. It is gorgeous. There's the color, the bright. When you see the brighter color, that's the color. But the matrixing in this is gorgeous. Look at the sides. The detailing, the big bail. It's got a nice big bail on it. Thank you, Sharon. Here's the back. 
says 925. And I am going to do on this with the 21 inch chain, I am going to do a buy it now of 32 with the gorgeous, gorgeous pendant. Buy it now 32. That is so gorgeous. And Maury is in 32. Hello, Maury. I didn't know you were still in the chat. Look what I'm wearing. Congratulations. It's beautiful. And that's a good deal. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That is going to be it for our pendants with the chains. Now let's do some of these. These pendants we've got. So these are going to be just for the pendant. Oh, that sneeze has got me. This is measuring one and three eighths. So it's in between one and a quarter and one and a half. You're welcome, baby. This has got, that includes this jump ring on here. This has a, um, a setting that is, that's soldered to that, to that jump ring there. And made into a heart and it just goes over the top of the stone. This is white onyx. Hi Johnny. Well, I started doing buy it nows and people just wanted me to keep going. They didn't want me to end it. So I just am still going. Yeah, that's true, Maury. That's a good, that's a good idea. So for this pendant, for the white onyx, we will do buy it now $22. Buy it now $22. That's a good deal for this. That is, might be less than what I paid for it. Woo! But this is really gorgeous. Come on, focus. And Shirley is in at 22. Thank you, Shirley. Channeling Ric Flair there. I could have worn my Ric Flair t-shirt. Woo! I have one. Shirley, do I already have your envelope out, baby? Let me get it. <clears throat> there you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a beautiful, beautiful pendant. Congratulations. <clears throat> All right, guys. This next one is really gorgeous. The uh, jump ring that's on here is more than big enough to fit the any chain through there. 
and the way that it the the jump ring is setting it's it's meant for a chain to go through so this measures this pendant is measuring one and five eighths inches tall so that's between one and a half and one and three quarters and on the back it says it's mexican silver nine ati 925 mexico I'm so glad I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow. And here is the, oh, you're welcome, baby. Thank you. Here is the pendant. There's the big jump ring there that serves as bail. Beautiful turquoise. Let me hold it this way so I can give you a good view of the turquoise beautiful 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 and i will do buy it now 26 for this buy it now 26 it's a beautiful setting love it and the turquoise is gorgeous And I'm looking for chains, guys. And Shirley is in at 26. Thank you, Shirley. That's really pretty. I don't think you guys have seen that. We're going right down the line. Here we go. Oh, this pendant is gorgeous, too. <clears throat> this is authentic amethyst. <clears throat> and this is a very, very nice setting. And it says 95. And then has a little hallmark. Why does it look like a lightning bolt to me? Yeah, it's a hallmark. Almost looks like a TP. It should be like this because that's where how the 925 is. I'll show it to you. <clears throat> so this measures. The bail is part of the setting. So from top to bottom, it is an inch and an eighth. It's a little bit over inch and an eighth. Between an inch and an eighth and an inch and a quarter. And I would say the size of the amethyst is between a quarter and a third of a carat. Uh -oh. oh, no! Patty's not here, though. Patty's not here. I see you, Johnny. <clears throat> there is the setting. Let me get this. So that's just all metal work, no stones. And then there is the beautiful amethyst. I'll give you a side view of this gorgeous setting that it's in. Here's the back. I will do a buy it now. 
of $29 for this. You're getting a lot of silver in this. Beautiful, beautiful setting. Absolutely gorgeous setting. Beautiful amethyst. I wish I had a chain to put it on. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And Shirley's in at 29. Thank you, Shirley. It's a good deal. I don't think you guys have seen that either. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to do this one. And then I'm going to show you two different onyx pendants, three different onyx pendants. Maybe we'll do a choice between those three. Gorgeous. They are gorgeous. This is kind of an onyx pendant too, but I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. What do you mean, Mama? What do you mean? It's kind of. So everything sort of kind of has a theme going here. All right. <clears throat> this pendant measures one inch tall, and it is a half an inch wide. And the bale is absolutely beautiful. The detail goes all the way on top of the bale and behind the bale. The same detail. So you have a pretty piece of, of um, lapis in the front. You've got gorgeous detailing on the sides and underneath. And then you've got onyx on the back. So you can wear this as onyx. Or you can wear this as lapis. It just depends on which you prefer. And this is quite a bit of quite a bit of silver. And I am going to start this one at the pendant at twenty two dollars. That's the buy it now twenty two dollars. And this is measuring 2.83 grams. And Maury's in at 22. Thank you, Maury. Put it back in its bag. So one thing about keeping these all in bags on boards, I've got the bags right here to put it in. Yeah, that's true, Lee. Okay. This one, I don't see any, oh, there's some marks right there. We've got 925. And I thought it had a hallmark too, but maybe not. Is that like an A? Yeah, 925A. That is it. And this has an open bail. <clears throat> I'll show you what I mean. So you can slide your, if you wanted to slide the pendant off, you could. Here's your pendant. Very beautiful. Let me get you a measurement on this. And all the marker sites are there. And it looks, let me see if there's supposed to be a net, one more marker site at the top of this. 
Oh, I had a prayer box earlier. Did it sell? It didn't sell. Nope, I've got one. I got, and it's a round one. I've got one. No, I don't think there's supposed to be a marcasite there. Yeah, there's not supposed to be a marcasite. Oh, wait, but I think there's supposed to be a marcasite there. Okay, so I'll put a marcasite in there right at the very top. Tell me what you think. I think there's supposed to be a marcasite there. Right there. I will put a marcasite in there. Okay. So we're going to do this pendant. Oh, I didn't measure it. Let me get you a measurement. But let me let me show you how pretty it is first. So this is measuring in length, including the bale, which is really pretty. The bale has the marcasites in it. And I'll just epoxy a marcasite in there. And this is measuring one. One and a quarter inches long and five eighths of an inch wide, which is between half of an inch and three quarters of an inch. And I will do buy it now 18 on this with the onyx in it. Maury, what's the whole please for? Gluing the marcasite in? All right. Let's see. What do we got next? Let's see. Let's see, I have other crosses that I can, oh yeah, the prayer box. I'll show you the prayer box. She's like, don't forget the prayer box. Okay. The prayer box, not including the bail, is measuring over half of an inch with the bail. It is oh, about nine tenths of an inch. Now, this does not have a chain, but it's got that pretty detailing on the bale and all around. And there's the bottom. I don't remember what I was asking starting bit on this, but I will do a I'll do a buy it now of 18 on this for you. And Maury's in at 20. Thank you, Maury. Do you guys want to keep going? No, you didn't, Rhonda. Do you guys want me to keep going or should we call it quits? Kathy says, yes, keep going. Goodness, you guys are in it for the long haul today, aren't you? I'm glad my husband made me eat a really good breakfast. Okay, everybody wants me to keep going. All right. We'll keep going till I drop. <clears throat> All right, guys. No, Paul, I wouldn't. How you doing, Paul? Let me make Lee a moderator. I just noticed he's not a moderator. And 
Paul's not a moderator. All right. All right, guys. <clears throat> this pendant is a cross. It is 925. It has diamonds in it. It is nine tenths of an inch long and uh, we'll say five eighths of an inch. So it's between a half and three quarters of an inch wide. Um, let me see if I can tell how many diamonds are in this, but I know they're diamonds. I'm going to hold it up. Oh, geez. I almost dropped it. The way this setting is, is here's the bail. So that is where the chain goes. <laughs> Paul, Paul's like, I have the power. So here's what the pendant looks like. I'm going to get really close so you can see the... See if it'll focus. Okay, so there's a diamond right in the center. And then every so often, you get another. I thought there were three in here. It might be that's the only diamond. Yeah. I think that's the only one. I thought there was one on each. Nope, just the one. Okay, so there's the diamond. Right in the middle. But it's really cute. It is, like I said, nine tenths of an inch long. And I will do, buy it now, of $23 on this. That's the back of it. There's the 925. The uh, the chain fits through here. And there's the front again. And Kathy's in it 23. Thank you, Kathy. Is that for your mom? Congratulations, honey. All right. I have got a ton of pendants, but let's not go through them one by one by one by one by one, okay? I want to do, I want to do some rings. That's a really beautiful cross, Kathy. Okay. All right, I've got a couple charm bracelets too. Let me, this is why I had these rubber bands on here so these don't fall off. Hold on, I still want you. <clears throat> this one is really pretty. I'm just picking these up and going with them. This one has got purple stones in it. They are glass stones. I don't know where this is in my shirt. There it is. Uh, this is a size six. It looks like a bypass ring, but it's not. Got marcasites in it. 
And as I said, that is just purple glass. Cute ring. I will do a buy it now of $10 on this. It's got a 925 stamp on it. No hallmark. If anybody's interested, buy it now. 10 Ooh, they're all falling off because they're the rubber band is gone. Okay. All right, this one's not going to be ten dollars. Okay, this one is right in between a seven and a half and an eight. Or I should say seven and three quarters and an eight. This is, let me test the, and see if these are topaz or what they are. And I turned it off again. Let me look and see. Yeah, it's got a, I don't know why this reminds me of a Selpata mark, but. I know it's not a sulpata mark. It's a triangle with an F in it. It's a diamond shape with an F in it. Okay. I'll be right back, guys. I've got to use the bathroom real quick. My son just got out of it. I have to close my curtain here in a minute. All right. So, what did I say this was? So, seven and three quarter. Yep, seven and three quarter. <clears throat> Here's the side view. And it is rubies, guys. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve rubies on the bottom and a large ruby on the top. I don't know how many carrots that would be altogether, but they're just CZs that are with it, guys. I was hoping they were topaz, but they are not. They are ruby. But if anybody is interested in this, this would be called a ruby cluster ring. And it is absolutely gorgeous. 
I would do a buy it now of 100 on it. And that would be a good deal. It is 925, not white gold. But those are all rubies. All the way around. And Shirley has got it at 100. Thank you, Shirley. She's like, I know the price of rubies. It's really beautiful, honey. Just gorgeous. Beautiful. You are welcome, baby. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, now this next ring, I will do buy it now 10 because it is, it's a really cute, it's a really cute band. It's a size seven. And it's just, it's just a band ring with flowers all the way around it, except for the back part right here. And it's just got flowers all the way around the band. Come on, focus. And I would do bite now of 10. That's a cute ring. And the oxidization is still in really good condition. It is a vintage ring. Okay. Now this actually has my initials on it. That kind of looks like a, to me, a K, a J, and an L. You let me know. Oh, Shirley's in at 10. All right, Shirley, I got you. Does this look like KJL or is it H? You tell me. Nobody's going to want this because it's... What, what initials are those? So it's obviously a J and an L. Is that a K or an H? What's it look like? It could be either, I guess. But it's a huge ring. It fits on my middle finger. It is a 12. HLJ. HLJ. But it could kind of be a K. KJL, Kelly Joe. Anybody out there know my last name? My maiden name? I'll give you $10 credit in jewelry if you can tell me what my maiden name is. Yeah, it's a size 12. Fits perfect right on my middle finger. I just wondered what the initials were. Jones. Flippin'. Okay. All right. Here's another band ring. Nope. My middle name on my Facebook. Okay. You don't get the $10 credit. Now, but the middle name on my Facebook account is my maiden name. It is Lee, L-E-E. -E. No, I'm definitely not a Mrs. Robinson. 
All right, so this is a six and a half. And this has got like a little tribal pattern all the way around it. Or a Mayan looking pattern. However you want to look at it. This is really cute. And I would do a buy it now. Woo! Of 13 on this. Oh, that's your mother's. Buy it now of 13 on this band ring. This is really pretty. And Maury's got it for 13. <laughs> well, you know, the better of us can't either. Thank you, Maury. Okay. Now this, I know this has marcasites all around it. Now, when I test this, this goes into emerald. However, and I was told this was an emerald ring, but I've never seen a ring like this. It goes into two different lo locations. It goes into the chrysophase, emerald, and nephrite, which nephrite is jade. And it goes into the garnet, tourmaline, and iolite. When I got it, I was told it was it was emerald, but you know I don't know how accurate that is. But I've never seen a ring like this, and I'll bet you you haven't either. And it is a six. Six and a quarter. Almost six and a half. And it's got beautiful little marcasites all around it. And it is a flat stone. It, it could be cleaned in there. It's been sitting. I don't know that I actually got the never dull out on this. But it is flat. It is a flat stone. This is the thickness of it. That's the actual stone. So I'm not sure. Like I said, it hits in the emerald, but it also hits in garnet. It could be, you know, green garnet, tourmaline, iolite, or chrysophase, emerald, or nephrite. It could be any of those. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not familiar with this type of this type of stone so you know i'm not really that sure but what i will do it's still very beautiful it is still very unique and i will do a buy it now of 38 dollars on it for anyone that is interested Oh, it's fallen six and a quarter. I could probably push it down to six and a half. So in between six and a quarter and six and a half. Bye, Wes. Have a good night, honey. All right. Oh, this is a pretty ring. Very pretty. Small. It's small, but it's pretty. It's five and a half. <clears throat> Maybe five and three quarters. But it is a, it's upside down. 
but it is a cross and it is so so beautiful and it's got detailing all the way up the band on both sides come on focus Are you focusing on the numbers? Are you trying, Cameron? Are you trying? And I'll do a buy it now of 18 on this if anybody's interested. It's really, really pretty. It would be a pinky ring on me. And Kathy is in it. 18. Thank you, Kathy. It's really pretty. All right, this ring is really super pretty. This is a bigger ring in the front. It is a business in the back and party in the front. Oh, you're welcome, honey. This is about a six and a half. Where's it hitting? Maybe six and three quarters. Yeah, six and three quarters. And it is a large, it's a, it's a little bit larger of a band. But here's the front. How cute is this wave pattern or this woven pattern? It's like a dome ring almost. And I will do a buy it now at 24 on this. Gorgeous ring. Come on, Cameron, focus. Focus, baby. There we go. Thank you, baby. It is really, really cute. Kind of reminds me of an apple pie on the top, not going to lie. Anybody $24 buy it now? Okay. Let me see. Ooh, let's do this Navajo turquoise ring. And then maybe that amethyst ring. Oh, this cute, very dainty lapis ring. Guys, I got an emerald ring, too. If you want to see this emerald ring, let me know. Those are all white topaz. It's great big emerald and then white topaz. Won't focus. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. All right. I cannot find this Navajo maker in, in any database that I look at. This is a seven and a half. And it's got this detailing of like two split bands. Come on, focus. And it's a gorgeous split band, but it is a gorgeous turquoise. Look at how gorgeous that is. Look at the setting on this. This is so, so pretty. Such a pretty setting. Let me show you the marks on the inside. I just can't, I just can't find them. Sorry, I had a message over there. So there's sterling. I can't find can't find it under A, can't find it under R, can't find it under U. I cannot find it. I will do a buy it now of 40 on this. Guys, this is so gorgeous. I don't think I brought this up yet. I don't think anybody's seen this yet. This setting is so pretty with the leaf. Let me put the leaf on top so you can see it better. 
This setting is just gorgeous. Buy it now, 40. Let me see if I can get it on my left finger. I don't think I can because I've drank so much pop today. No, I won't be able to. Too much sodium. That's a gorgeous ring. Okay. Guys. I can do a couple more pendants. But dudes. I got to call it, man, because I'm about to fall. I am about to fall out. And I still got to do invoicing, guys. But thank you for hanging in there with me. I should be saying, you, you guys are welcome that I hung in with you. This is an inch tall with a bale by a little under three quarters of an inch. This is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And that is a sapphire, guys. It's a blue sapphire. If you hold it up, it's a dark blue sapphire. And I will do a buy it now of $32 on this. This is really cute. Buy it now at 32. And then I've got a jade one that I'll do a buy it now to on too. And then we're done. That is a sapphire. I'll show you the jade one. And then I gotta go. Sharon, I think I'll I'll hit you up tomorrow, okay, honey? If you're even still in here. I'm glad you guys wanted me to keep going, but I'm just crashing, guys. And I don't want to get a fibro flare up tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a good day for me, and I don't want to be in bed with a, with a fibro flare up. So I got to call it. And then this one is jade, green jade, in a beautiful, beautiful... Um, like a shamrock silver pattern. And I would do buy it now 32 on this. If anybody was interested. Gorgeous. And Kathy says, yes, mama. She says, I want the jade. All right. Now, Kathy, since you bought the jade, I'm going to make you an offer. Would you want the sapphire for 25? Since you bought the jade, would you want the sapphire for 25? Just asking. That's for you only. You can say yes or no. And then I'll put it up for auction next week. Okay. All right. I just, I wanted to offer you that because you bought the, the jade. They're so similar. All right, you guys. So this is what's going to happen. Also, there's a pay-per-view boxing event tonight. So I want to try and stay up till midnight. So... I am going to work on invoicing now. You beautiful, beautiful bodies. You, Lisa C., are you still in the house? Lisa C., are you here? I'll show one more thing if Lisa's here. Oh, I don't think I can, Lee. I, I have to invoice directly after I'm done. All right, guys. I love you so much. 
Um, Philly Flipper, thanks for the $9 super chat earlier. Hope you like the song like eight hours ago. And this is getting cut tomorrow morning at 11. So tune in tomorrow at Beth's working hangout. It's like 1.30 my time, 12.30 her time. And um, you can see what my hair looks like. It's going to be super short. Super, super short. So, all right, guys. Um, I love you very much. Mwah. And I'll see you next Saturday. I will be having some, some videos go up. Some of them are going to be football cards. Um, some of them are going to be eBay related. And some maybe jewelry related. Uh, depends if I get more jewelry in. It just depends. So... Thank you, Sharon. I love you. And I will get with you. If I don't get with you tonight, I will definitely call you tomorrow. Okay. Or if you go over to Reseller Rowboat and you go over to her live tomorrow, I will be there and I can show you those pieces tomorrow. And you can see them through the same camera and all that stuff if I haven't contacted you yet. Okay. All right, guys. Whew. <laughs> you guys all have a great day. And I love you very much. Thank you so much, you guys.